Hello everybody and welcome to my very first Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom stream. Welcome everybody. We got dun 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 <laughs> you had to let the theme play out. Welcome, 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 everybody. I am so unbelievably excited to get my hands on this game. I have been kind of on social media blackout for Tears of the Kingdom since that last reveal trailer that happened when I was in Italy. I am so excited to play it. The original Breath of the Wild, to me, is like one of my all-time favorite video games. Probably my favorite Zelda game, which I know is somewhat controversial. I feel like there are a lot of people that have Breath of the Wild their favorite now, but like at the time, a lot of people weren't really sure about the difference. Obviously, the game was considered a masterpiece, but still, it was like, at the time that Breath of the Wild came out, I think there were a lot of people who were like, I miss the dungeons, I miss a lot of the stuff from the classic games, and so now, with Tears of the Kingdom bringing back the dungeons, and then we're getting all that exploration goodness from Breath of the Wild, I feel like they hit in a sweet spot. I'm so excited to try this. Thank you, by the way, to Ober Gamer for already becoming a member. We literally just started the stream. Thank you so, 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 so much. And the plan, basically, is to stream all day. I'm gonna stream until my headphones die. <laughs> I have been waiting to play this game and discover this game. I got it full screen on my monitor. It's looking nice. By the way, of course, you got to give the shout out. Thank you, Nintendo, for the hashtag free game, hashtag free product. You guys know the drill. Always got to get that out of the way. But obviously, this is something I would have bought anyway. You got the Octorok in the background on the bed over there. You got the Triforce over there as well from the Game & Watch Edition. Like I said, I'm, I'm stoked. And Breath of the Wild and the launch of the Switch really just i have so much nostalgia for the beginning of the switch era which is kind of crazy considering it was like what six seven years ago but i feel like so much of what got my youtube channel to where it is today is thanks in part to breath of the wild and to the launch of the switch right like the switch hype the hype for smash brothers all that kind of stuff is really what pushed me in those early days and i just i vividly remember doing that switch preview with kit and krista during nintendo minute playing breath of the wild for the first time having it like a month before anybody else even knew what the game was about it was just like such a magical time and i don't know if it's going to be able tears of the kingdom i mean if tears of the kingdom's going to be able to capture that same lightning in the bottle for me. I feel like it's going to though and for one big reason. You guys, when Breath of the Wild came out, I wanted nothing more than to stream that game. I wanted to stream so much Breath of the Wild, but unfortunately, I did not have a stream set up at the time, right? Many of you who've been fans of my channel for years remember like way 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 back in the day i was filming off of my macbook webcam and it was just <laughs> the quality of the videos was a mess like if you go back and watch my reaction trailers for the original breath of the wild and then you watch my streams now there's such a stark difference in quality and you know again i always wanted to stream breath of the wild but i didn't have the opportunity to do so because i didn't have a stream set up and now here we are today 2023 i'm streaming in hd to all of you I really can't wait. Thank you, by the way, to Chris Brooks saying, love you, man. I've been following you for years. Thank you very much. And yes, I also really quickly, because I see a lot of people mentioning in the chat, I want to mention this as well. I gave him a shout out on Twitter. I want to shout him out here as well, too. It would not be a Nintendo launch without remembering Etika today would have been Etika's birthday. Happy birthday to you, buddy. I know you're watching down on us. I know your hype is going to flow through all of us playing Tears of the Kingdom. We love you. Hashtag Joy-Con boys forever. You got to make sure to get that in there as well. Happy birthday to a real one. All right, with all that being said, as you can see on my Switch over here, bada bing, bada boom, this is a brand new system. I literally just unboxed this yesterday. <laughs> I opened everything up. I put on the uh, the save transfers for Animal Crossing and for all the different Pokemon games and everything because those are the things that don't have cloud save. And then I was like, I was testing NSO and Tetris and Splatoon and Smash N64, things I play regularly. If you tune into my Twitch channel, you know that I was streaming Goldeneye yesterday on Twitch with some of the brand ambassadors, Curious Joy and Katie Wilson and Ichi Badass it was a lot of fun we had a great time playing goldeneye if you want to see that stream again it's over on twitch and you really should be following me on twitch because again there's going to be a lot of tears of the kingdom streams on twitch that probably will not be here on youtube i will most likely upload a lot of that stuff cut up into videos on youtube and obviously i wanted to do the launch stream on youtube and i'll probably do like the ending stream on youtube as well but i feel like for everything in between i really just kind of want to make videos and enjoy it at my own pace so yeah welcome everybody to the stream let's do this all right the very first game to really be played on my new Zelda OLED Switch, The Legend of Zelda, 
Tears of the Kingdom. We are finally here. I'm starting 20 minutes early. I know it's 11.43 a.m., but it is what it is. I've been waiting <laughs> however many years for them to actually release this game. So here we are. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Let us go. Checking if the software can be played. Of course it can be played. Let's go. Bring it on. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you guys are saying glad YouTube gets the launch? Of course. Of course. You guys are my primary squad. Of course, here we go. Nintendo Presents. Bring it on. Thank you to Jerry, by the way, for super chatting as well. We've waited long enough. Exactly, Rob. The Legend of Zelda. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Tears of the Kingdom. And I got it on my nice monitor. Everything's looking nice. Also, I have it set up. Check this out. I have it set up where if I want to go full screen for a cutscene, boom. I can do this and then switch right back for gameplay. Isn't that cool? I think I'm actually going to do this for the cutscene. Here we go. I'll be able to experience this in its full glory. This strange gloom keeps getting thicker. I've seen Zelda again after all this time. Okay. We've been descending for a while now. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? Probably dehydrated Ganondorf. Hello, Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. So we're picking up right where the first trailer. Oh, oh, we got all our hearts too. That's kind of cool. Beneath Hyrule Castle. Okay, can I just go right up here? <laughs> no, never mind. They're not letting me. We can look at it later. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Let's go. How cool that they give you all your stuff from Breath of the Wild at the beginning. I'm assuming that's not going to stay. I'm assuming they're going to take that away, but... All right. I never imagined this was as deep beneath Hyrule Castle. All right, let's go. Just like being in this world of Hyrule again after so long. Ah, oh, man. I know there's going to be a lot of feels coming over me during the stream. But of course, if you've seen the first trailer for this game, then you know immediately what's going to happen over here. After coming into contact with the gloom drifting the gloom. through these caverns. Okay. Though here it seems almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. We'll keep going. With it coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. I love how spooky the music is too. We do not know what waits below, so we need to be ready for anything. But I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Let's go solve this mystery. Let's do it. I'm ready. Ba -da 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 -da, da -da -da -da, da 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 We have the full sprint meter as well. <laughs> Link. Was I going too fast? I'm sorry. I'm just excited. It's been too long. The Master Sword. It must be sensing something. I knew we had reason for concern. Ever since the end of the Calamity, the castle has fallen into neglect. Hmm. But I could never have imagined anything like the tunnels we're hiding here. Uh. We must be careful as we move deeper. All right. Meanwhile, I'm going to run. <laughs> Swing sword. <laughs> Very cool looking. What is that? These are ruins from an ancient civilization. Something's written here. Might these ruins be from the Zonai? All right. <laughs> I was about to throw my sword. See if I could chuck the master sword at the very beginning. <laughs> Man, oh man. I just know all the theory channels that have been covering like the Zonai and what this game could be for such a long time now are probably losing it going through the very beginning of this game. HMK, Commonwealth Realm, all of them. I'm sure there's Zonai in Origin. I've seen designs like this in my studies. She's taken pictures on her phone. <laughs> the Zonai are said to have lived long ago in the time of earliest legend. They possessed godlike powers and had a prosperous civilization in the sky. Many history books tell us about the Zonai, but none give us the full picture. Much is still unknown about them. Okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> and those statues there. This does feel very Metroid-esque, doesn't it? Cheese, what are you doing playing Picross right now? I see him up in the corner. Play Zelda. Why are you playing Picross today? There's nothing wrong with Picross, but today is Zelda Day. It is sacrilegious to play anything other than Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> okay. How do the ruins from a civilization in the sky end up here beneath the castle? Looks like the path ahead goes even deeper. Let us continue, Link. Cheese Meister, how could you? Right, there we go. Panda, very good. Popping up saying Tears of the Kingdom. Very, very nice. All right. Get these guys out of here. <laughs> Yeah, it's got a very cool atmosphere. Hurt. Are you Link? Also, notice I got the green matcha latte today, specifically for Link. Even though his champion's tunic is blue, doesn't matter. I grew up with green tunic Link. He will always be green to me. Look at these murals. A little piano melody in the back as well. The written histories of the royal family include stories of a great war fought long ago. It was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. Gadendorf. I love to the- Is it possible? Well, Do these murals depict the same legend? Like the piano that's playing in the background is the same melody that you hear in the ba -dun 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 in the main theme that we were just listening to at the beginning of the stream. Very this cool. Those are the tears. The titular so tears, I'm assuming. So nice. Okay. And these figures look like Hylians. Ooh, weird Splatoon sounding thing in the back, too. Suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. God, I can't believe we're actually playing this, man. It's, it's hype. Oh, man. It is said that my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family, were born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. These murals tell a similar story, and if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. They must have forged a relationship with the Hylians of that time. This just kind of make me want to go back and play Skyward Sword like at the very, very beginning. Because I know they released Skyward Sword HD, but I never actually beat Skyward Sword HD. I just beat the original Skyward Sword. Look how cool he looks even in the mural. This all aligns with what I've read during my studies. And then this, it shows the Demon King. And a fierce battle against him. We've had many battles against him. Twilight Princess, Wind Waker, Ocarina of Time. The depicted here really does represent the Demon King. Then... The Coblins and Moblins. The Hylians. This mural must be the great war recorded in the royal histories. Mm. And you can hear the other instruments coming in, very this ominous. This is the imprisoning war, and the events that led up to it. Okay, very good. This is a huge discovery. Huh? <laughs> All right then, now to use this invention of Pura's. A I'm Nintendo Switch. Behind. <laughs> it's so easy to record. You Just point and click, here you go. Like the rest of the mirrors are obscured. <laughs> Just what is this place? Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Link, let's keep moving deeper. I'm ready. Bring it on, Zelda. I love how much creepier it's getting, how they're adding extra instruments to the back. The further you descend, the closer you get to dehydrated Ganondorf. Get the gloom everywhere. Here we go. Deeper and deeper. Here's where the little mouse was crawling around in that very first trailer. Here we go. Here we go. Let us continue, Link. We must be extremely careful. Okay, let's go.
What is that? I actually really like Zelda with the short hair, too. I think it's cute. Very good look for her. Give me Matthew Mercer Ganondorf. I'm ready for it. Where it begins. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. It's kind of wild that they have all of this back at all. Oh, here we go. Here's where his hearts go. Of course, back to the classic three. Oh man, dude, this is high. Master Sword shatters. Oh, ooh, I like the little grace. <laughs> What's that? The sword that seals the darkness. He talks at the very beginning. The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. Oh, <laughs> Zelda, you who carries that fragile sword, a link. <laughs> You know us? Raru placed his faith in you. <laughs> Raru, okay! And that was all you could do. <laughs> Okay! How do you know I'm here? Because he's been there before! He's dealt with you lot many a times! Oh, this is a hype way to start the game! Wow! The same chord of the Ganondorf music as well, too? for any of the Ganondorfs in any of the previous Zelda games. Iconic. The man just woke up. He's like, I know who you two are. I know what I gotta do. And he's decrepit and dead. You got her. Come on, Link. Don't worry. You'll get her eventually. What? Hello? Okay. People of Hyrule watching the sky fall. to explore all of this again and knowing that there's like the underground and then the stuff in the sky and that shrines are back and the Koroks are back it's like there's so much stuff to do in this game and all the different like gameplay tools that they've shown off during that little gameplay presentation with Aonuma and then here we go this is like the little shot that they showed in the very first trailer where it's like the sequel to Breath of the Wild is now in development <laughs> Again, it's wild seeing this now after first seeing a glimpse of this back in 2019. It's 2023. Man, oh man. Shout out to all the viewers in here already, by the way. Holy mackerel, we got like 500 people in here. We just started. And there's tons of people streaming this game. You're choosing to watch me. I love you guys. You're the best. All right, Link. What a cool opening of the game, man. I really can't get over that. And of course, they got to start him shirtless again. <laughs> oh, Link, finally you wake. Hello? I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Okay. Your wounds were severe. 
I am relieved to see you escape death. Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. All right. The broken master sword. We'll get it back. What a just, what a cool opening for the game! I really can't get over this. I so appreciate that he just picked up where we left off at the end of Breath of the Wild. And I thought the way that he got his hook, his hearts sucked out of his body was really, really cool as well. The Decayed Master Sword, the sword that seals the darkness, its sacred power has been diminished after being ravaged by the gloom beneath Hyrule Castle. Okay. Let's go. Use your weapon. Attack with your equipped weapon. All right. That only does one damage. <laughs> Just looking around this area. That kind of looks like the ancient beasts from the first game. Okay, here we go. I just love this version of Hyrule. I really, really do. I'm assuming that's gonna take us out of here. Okay. Is this like, is this supposed to be the Temple of Time or something? Because it kind of looks like it, the staircase that's leading up over here. Alright. Dashing away, okay. I love just all the little atmospheric sounds and everything, too. Alright, here we go, Link. Jump! Woohoo! <laughs> Landing in water, even from a great height, will prevent you from taking fall damage. Lovely. Okay, we got a little goodie over here. Archaic legwear. Alright. Open my inventory, put some pants on. Let's see, is anything else over here? Not that I'm seeing yet. No, we're good. All right. Is this going to be our great plateau moment? Title screen of the game right here? Okay, so we are in the sky right now. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Show me Tears of the Kingdom. Wow. Just look how massive the map is! This is unbelievable! Oh. I'm gonna put my glasses on. I am so ready. And to think there's all of this plus the stuff in the sky plus the underground. Could not have had a more hype opening to this game. Down. Boom. Okay. Here we are. Great Sky Island. Now saving. Okay. Got a tree branch that's going to do more damage than the Master Sword right now, so I feel like... Here, let's use that. Even though it's going to break, probably. Take another one of these. Got a Sky Shroom. Okay. Look around, gather what I can. Whoa! Boom! There we go! Take another tree branch. 
first enemy of the game down. What you got for me? A Zonai charge. Material used as a power source for constructs and other devices. Okay. And a soldier construct horn. Okay. Also, hold on. Now that we're through the cutscene, I'm going to go back to this game setup so I got the chat and everything on screen too. Okay. Here we go. You guys are freed! Alright, let's see. What's over here? Wooden stick. I just like it running around and exploring a little bit. There's another creature over there, it looks like. Examine. Hello. Oh no, he's not nice. Never mind. It looked like a little broom icon. I thought he was going to be like our little friend, but... I suppose not. Oh no, 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 no. It does seem like we're going in talking mode. Steward Construct. Okay, okay, so he is like a little, our little friend. Okay, Link, I have waited for you. Thank you, by the way, to Cat Zara for becoming a member. Nakama, greatly appreciate it. Zelda left something for you in my care. Okay. Oh, the tablet, perfect. The new OLED switch, <laughs> the Burra Pad. I am told it's an invaluable tool that provides you with direction. Okay. <laughs> Literally a switch. <laughs> Do the Joy-Cons come off? <laughs> or is it like a Switch Mini? The Purapad. Zelda's prize device. It has a variety of features that are essential for adventure. Alright. Here we go. Oh, we got the map. Dude, look how huge! I love this. Okay. I received it from Princess Zelda. I have now passed it on to you. My records indicate that Zelda is waiting at the location marked on its map. My message has been delivered. We stand in the Garden of Time. Okay. The Temple of Time is visible from here. Okay. It was used in the distant past, and many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. But no more. Now it is a lonely place. No one visits. And there's a little guy up there. New objective, find Princess Zelda. <laughs> Alright, we're making a bridge. Go talk to the other steward over there. We're finally here. Ricky! What's going on, Ricky? Welcome, welcome to the stream. Shout out to all of you that are in here right now. Watching and experiencing the game for the first time. Let me know, chat. Let me know how many of you have Tears of the Kingdom right now and are playing while watching me. Because I feel like it's probably a lot of you. <laughs> Alright, we got a Zonai charge. Here we go. Get an apple. <laughs> Anything in there? Break some pots. Wouldn't be a Zelda game without that. Here. Anything else over here? No. Alright, take both of these, get this, talk to our buddy over here. You seem new here. Do you intend to use that weapon against the soldier constructs? Not really. The Zonai who uh, created us gave them strict orders to protect the land. They'll regard you as trespasser if they spot you, and their directive is to eliminate all trespassers. You have little choice in this scenario but to fight them. It is better that you not hold back on our account. And I have a piece of advice if you do choose to engage with them. It is crucial to maintain proper distance and target your opponents. Of course, swinging haphazardly will not yield results. You get the lock on. You can practice targeting on me if you want, but please do not actually attack. There you go. <laughs> Got it. All right, I'm ready. Let's get out of here. I'm going to waste my tree branches first. I don't want to use anything else. All right, let's dive on down. I'm ready. Woohoo! Let's go. Go right into the water. Man, this game really is pretty. Alright, let's see. Grab a sky shroom. Get over here. Here we go. Get another tree branch. See, I don't want to use any of my wooden swords yet. I feel like 
I should save those for a little bit later on. Take his sword, there you go, bam! Get a Sky Shroom, get a charge. All right, what else is over here? We have a, what is this, hello? Who are you? Come here, give me some meat. Raw meat. I don't like that my immediate instinct was to attack him. He was minding his own business. He wasn't even attacking me. But it had to be done. A man's got to eat. All right, let's see. Let's keep moving. What else is over here? Get into the tree branch. All right. Got some more of these. Zoni, get out of here. Boom, boom, boom. Boom! Another one! Boom! Boom! <laughs> Ooh, a construct horn! Alright. Feel like I could do something with that. A long stick, very good. I'm gonna hold on to that. Throw the weapons that are in your hand. I, I don't really want to throw it. Here we go. More wooden sticks to pick up. I just really do like this area on top. I wonder if there's anything up here I can grab. No, nothing quite yet. Let's see, because obviously we're meant to go this way. Just looking around, seeing if there's anything else. Here we got another, is that a steward over there? Is he gonna teach me how to cook by the fire? Hello, buddy. Were you lured in by delicious smells? I assume so. Ingredients are especially fragrant when roasted by a fire. Uh, they may also be tastier and more nutritious. I would not know. You're roasting them? You are unfamiliar. My apologies. Among my tasks is to explain anything that first-time visitors might require knowledge of. Oh no, I'm good. Don't worry about a thing. I roast them by placing them beside the fire. But I do not eat. I'm given to understand that it improves the taste, though. Our creators roasted ingredients in order to enhance their nutritional value. Do you have ingredients? Use the fire to roast them. I sure do. Here we go. Let's uh, drop some meat over here. All right, back. And drop it over. Oh, hold on. I gotta take it. I should put it like right on the fire. Here we go. Let's put this here. Boom. Hold. Back. And drop. There we go. Perfect. Uh oh! Yo, what?! Oh my god, I was standing in the fire! I thought I was on the rock and I was standing in the middle of the fire. I roasted myself. <laughs> All right, we'll do that again. <laughs> I wasted my poor meat now. Oh, no, no, my meat's back. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I cannot believe I did that. How goofy. All right, here we go. <laughs> I can't believe that. All right, here we go, here we go. Another wooden stick, we got another long stick. Come over here. I'm not gonna throw that, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> I can't believe how stupid that was. Why did I do that? All right, here we go. We got some charges, let's run on over here. And let's not stand in the fire when we drop the ingredients. How about we just stand close? Here we go. Toasty Sky Shroom, perfect. You roasted that. It's yours if you want it. Thank you. All right. Yeah, 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 steward. All right, we heard this before. I threw myself in the fire. All right, here we go. Boom. Hold. Back. And drop. There we are. Perfect, perfect, perfect. While that's cooking, I'm going to grab this stuff. Take some of these. All right. Is that almost ready? Take it. Perfect. Seared steak. Lovely, 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 lovely. All right. Get some more mushrooms and make our way over here. Perfect. I still can't get over that. Uh, you guys are saying don't let him cook. <laughs> exactly. All right. Make our way on up. Uh-oh. Hello? Oh, I got to let my stamina charge. There we go. Got the little saxophone in the background, too. 
The Temple of Time, all right. Give me that shield, come on. Come here, come here, come here. Boom, get out of here. Rusty broadsword, lovely. I'm gonna hold on to that, I got a shield. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Raise your shield, you can block. Perfect. Get a horn. Da 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 da. All right, excellent. The game is too beautiful, says Dave. It really is very pretty. They obviously took their time with it. I got my sword, I got my shield, I'm ready to go on an adventure. I want to find a dungeon. I want to actually tell you the very first place I want to go. The very first place I want to go on the map when we get back down to Hyrule, I want to go to Luralin Village. Because that was my favorite area in Breath of the Wild. I did not intend to startle you. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. Okay, are you Rauru? I am Rauru. There you go! Why is he a goat now, though? Source of the right arm. Okay. I like his design better this way than the old man in Ocarina of Time. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. I'm sure we'll get our powers back eventually. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Ah, of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? Here we go! <laughs> the shrines are back, baby! Man, shrines and dungeon and an underground and a sky. There's just, there's so much to explore in yes, this one. I'm sure they are the key. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right. Off we go. The vibes really are just immaculate in Zelda games. They really are. The music is so good. The characters are great. All right, adventure log. Closed door. Here we go. Visit the island shrines. You got it. Let's go. Obviously, we can't open that yet. Let's get to that shrine. Here we go. Thing over here that we can grab. Not quite. Way! See, that's all right. I have mushrooms and things I can eat. Heal myself up. There we go. Got our arrows again. Perfect. Take this too. Get the bow from this guy. Boom, boom. Perfect. Press and hold to attack with the bow, you already know. Boom, there we go. Still got it. <laughs> All right. Hit an enemy's head to do a critical hit. Again, know that. Now was the shrine up here or on the other one? I kind of lost track. Oh, hold on. Come here. Boom. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Get out of here. Actually, let me see. Wait. Oh, you can take photos and stuff, too? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's a lot of stuff I want to do. All right. Zone I charge. Get up here. Here we go. Ricky said, I'm smiling so hard, experiencing an all-new Breath of the Wild with Roger, and all of you is just too awesome. Dude, we're happy to have you, Ricky. Also, my audience loves you, dude. <laughs> like, I figured that out after we did that, uh, that RRR reaction, but everyone was like, do more videos with Ricky. Have Ricky on. <laughs> so, all right, here we go. I'm going to get some more food in the meantime. Now, can I eat it from this menu or no? Or can you only drop it? I think I have to eat it from this one. There we go. Here we go. We got the dragon in the background over there as well. Very nice. Climb up here. Get a rush room. Take this. Let go. 
Let's see. I pr assume I can't get over there yet. I probably have to go in the shrine first. Get my other arm abilities first. All right, climb back up. Uko Shrine. All right, let's go. Do 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 do. Ashlyn says, are you going to scan Amiibos today? Sure I can. Of course. This is going to be a very long Zelda stream. So I'm sure at some point we will probably scan some Amiibos in. Only thing is, I don't know which ones work. I know I have the Link's Awakening Amiibo. I have um, the original Breath of the Wild Zelda Amiibo. I have a Guardian Amiibo. I'm trying to think about what other Zelda Amiibos I have. Because I don't have all of them. Like, I'm missing the Skyloft one, the Zelda Loftwing one, the Wind Waker one. So you made it here. A shrine of light. Long ago, I filled these places with light that purges evil. And I believe this light will restore an ability your right arm has lost. Mm -hmm. Now extend your hand. Money, please. <laughs> Ba -dun -dun -dun. All right, the first of our hand abilities. Let's see. Which one is this going to be? Ultra hand. Grab and move objects, rotate them, and stick them to other objects. All right. Mm. The ultra hand ability. It allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. With it, you'll be able to build a great number of things, and really anything you can imagine. Mm. Use the ultra hand and receive the blessing from this shrine. Easy enough. All right. Chris is saying they all work, and this one's a banger. Have fun. Thank you very much for the super chat. Appreciate it. All right. Activate the ability. Boom. Ultra hand. Here we go. Easy enough. Rotate that. Put this over here. And how do you drop it? Cancel. There we go. Easy enough. Grab another one. Whoa, 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 whoa. And thank you, by the way, to Gabe for becoming a member, not comma. Appreciate that. All right, grab. Rotate again. Well, problem is, that one's probably a little too small. Let's try this one. There we go. There we go. Rotate vertical rotation. Okay. A little more. Let me see. Leave one there, drop it. Perfect. Ultra hand again, grab. Yeah, I'm assuming I could just do this, right? Yeah. Uh-oh, 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 no! <laughs> no, 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 no. Here, we'll get him back out of here. All right, come on back up. Here we go. There's one. Perfect. L. Grab this. There we go. Stick it together. All right, perfect. Attach. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Grab. Grab this. Now, is it not going to let me move it? Oh, no, it will. It will. Move forward, move back, okay. If I lay this baby down... Oh, almost. Okay, boom. Perfect! Alright, let's go. Way! Lovely. Now, what else is over here? What is this? And what else can I grab? Okay. Is this like a hook that I could stick the thing to? What are these other objects? A ball and chain? Alright. And then one of these. Now can I stick this to the wall? Move it forward, move it back, rotate, vertical. Can't I just like make a little ramp? 
There we go. Put that there. Run up here. Got like a rail over here too. Can I just walk this way? Really carefully? I could probably use the hook to get over there, but I also think I could probably just make it. If I walk it, if I move very, very slowly. You could probably do this another way, but I figure I'm already here. Why not? Careful, Link. Careful, careful. Careful, do not run. Do not run. Okay, easy enough. <laughs> All right. I was like, I could have gone and made a whole thing with the ball and chain. I'm like, whatever works, dude. I'm making a ramp. I'm walking across. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay, you've done well to reach this place. See, and that's the beauty of Breath of the Wild, is you could solve all these puzzles however you want to solve them. It's great. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right. I also didn't realize that I could have shield surfed there. I got to learn how to shield surf. Fidel, what are you doing playing Xenoblade? Get off Xenoblade, it's Tears of the Kingdom Day. <laughs> All right. The light of blessing, a crystal that glows with a light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. Lovely. Okay. Got one of those. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Thank you, Mr. Zonai, sir. Mackerel said, can we start Tears of the Kingdom Ultra Hand Battle Bots on Discord? <laughs> Gonna dive into this later after I smoke some New York strip steaks for dinner and enjoy the game? Ooh, that sounds lovely. Great way to spend Zelda Day. Grill up some steaks. I could go for a good T-bone right now. A T-bone with mushrooms on top and fresh onions. Ooh, ooh, that's what I want. We just had another HelloFresh last night too, so I actually don't think we have anything right now set for dinner. So I think a T-bone steak might just be the way to go. All right. If you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be able to open the door to the Temple of Time. Lovely. Only two more? Mm. You may want to mark the shrines in the distance with pins, and then you'll never lose track of where they are. The permapad offers you a very useful scope. It's quite handy. Okay, I see one over there. Here we go. Scope and pins. Here we go. So let's place one right here. Place a pin there. And then where is the other one? Probably on the other side over here, I'm assuming. Uh, where's the second shrine? It's weird. Let me see. There's one over there. That's not a shrine. Uh, and I obviously already completed this one. Oh! Right there? That's kind of close. All right, let's make our way down. Here we go. Thank you, by the way, to Roberto for becoming a member, saying, good afternoon, Roger. Playing Tears of the Kingdom has been a whole lot of fun. I've been playing for 15 hours now. It's great, and I love how the game, um, how tough the enemies have gotten since the last game. That's good to hear that. All right. So let's get up here. Obviously, we have to grind down to the rails. You guys told me to shield surf. Wow! Metroid Dread coming through with a $150 donation, my guy. Saying cheers to Tears of the Kingdom. The game is amazing so far. Wow! Thank you very much. Oh. There we go. much once again metroid dread coming through with that beach party donation setting off camilla greatly appreciate that thank you thank you thank you wow now i'll definitely order a t-bone steak for dinner <laughs> thank you very much man greatly appreciate that all right now shield surf how do we do this how do i shield surf let me see I guess I could also ultra hand some stuff. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a gosh darn minute here. Wait, grab this. 
Rotate. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Grab. Rotate. Okay. Vertical rotation over a little bit. Man, thank you again, dude. Greatly appreciate that. All right. We're going to attach this to here. Boom. Then we're going to pick this baby up. Latch it on to here. All right. All right, here we go. <laughs> Wee! I'm sure there's going to be speedrunners who find other ways around this who don't necessarily have to use this little hook, but perfect. That was great. That worked out fantastic. I love how simple the ability is to pick up, too. I remember thinking during that gameplay presentation that, like, Ultra Hand and Fuse would maybe be a little complicated. Um... But so far, Ultra Hand is very, uh, very, very simple to use. Get some apples over here. Very good. Apple a day keeps the doctor away. Let's make our way down here. Okay, open this baby up. Oh, hello. Zonai charge. Okay, we got some wood. Hold on a minute. Right, I'm assuming that's something for a later day then. What's up, Rauru? I see they're still at work even now. We created the constructs to assist in all our future endeavors. All of us were fond of them. I never imagined they would continue to carry out their assigned tasks to this day. Mm. The fact that their labor no longer serves any purpose, yet they still perform? It's disquieting to me. Is it now? Now I'm wondering, with Ultra Hand, can I just pick this up and smack this guy? Your behavior is a threat. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's drop the stick down. <laughs> Here's a threat. <laughs> all right, sorry, buddy. Sorry, sorry about that. Uh, all right. <laughs> Where is the pin? Where did I put that thing? Over here? Here, let's, <laughs> let's pick this up. So this is obviously what you're supposed to do. Here we go. Grab this. We have a little boat over here. <laughs> Thank you, by the way, to Fern for saying I'm playing right now. Have fun, Roger. Thank you very, very much. I absolutely will. Here, I'm going to sticky this to here. There we go. And then pick this whole thing up. Hello? Wait, attach. There we go. There we go. There we go. I must protect myself. Dude, I didn't mean to hit that guy. <laughs> Your presence is a threat here. All right. <laughs> Horizontal rotation. Perfect. Put this here. Oh, I got to make it, I think, a little longer, maybe. Yeah, I got to make it a little longer. That thing's just going to fall. All right. One more attachment, and then we're good to go. There we go. Attach that as well. Perfect. Pick this whole thing up. Alright. Move this around. And place it and we make our way across. Lovely. Alright, move it forward a little bit. Perfect. Boop. Lovely, 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 lovely. Jump on top. Make our way over. Woohoo! Okay. I love too that like there's these little mysteries around the overworld and other little puzzles with the ultra hand. What is this? Okay, I'll grab this. Okay, I'm assuming those attach over there. Just platforms. Can I put them in the water? Okay, I can. Interesting. I'm going to put that there for now. We have another little steward. Grab some arrows, get another bow. I'm not going to attack those guys. I like those little emus. And then, let me see on the map again. Let me open this up. Oh, it's still relatively far out. Okay. So I'm assuming you're going to need that platform a little later then. 
Uh, maybe I should take it over? How far away can I be to grab it? Oh, wow! Oh, okay, it's not gonna let me grab it from here, okay. Like, that would be wild if that was the case. Okay. Got another little guy roasting his food right now. I'm gonna leave them be. Oh, I don't want to damage my stick. That's not gonna break it. Okay. Okay. I'll be super careful over here. Raise my bow. There we go. A little more. There we go. Lovely. Whoop. Two. There we go. Boom. Boom. Perfect. Oh, last one, last one. I didn't think there were three. One more, one more. There we are. Perfect. Grab the little soldier horns. Pick these up. Shrine over there. Open this. Oh, it's not going to let me? I have to fight first? Alright, that's fine. Come here. Come here. Boom. Ooh, I love the battle theme too. Man, oh man. The little owl treasure chests. Alright, make our way over here. Yeah, so obviously that's what we have to do. We have to bring those platforms over there and then make our way to the shrine. So I kind of messed up by leaving them over there. Hopefully there's some over here. I don't have to make my way all the way back over again. Alright, can I just swim? I could probably just swim. There's another little Zonai thing over here. You know what I'm going to do? What am I going to do? Let me see. Let me see what I can grab that's around. Because I do think it would be helpful to go grab that. Oh, see, yeah, 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 yeah. Here's all these platforms over here. Okay. This is the play to get over there really quickly. Unless, on the map... Let me see. Where's that other shrine? The other shrine... Is on the other side. Okay. So, yeah, we want to get to this one. I'm going to climb up here... Um, just saying what's up, gonna watch the VOD later, have fun. Thank you, Boomer. Appreciate that. Alright. Let us grab some of these. Because I'm assuming I could make it up here, but I don't necessarily need to go up there right now. I'm gonna bring them on down. Uh, well, unless there's something really good that I can grab. Let's see. Well, oh, can I not go any higher? Interesting. Okay, can I rotate maybe? Bring this up. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, okay. Attach, perfect. Make our way up here. Thank you, by the way, Ashlyn, saying uh, they sound like the Pose from Wind Waker when you beat them, or is that just me? I have to take a listen again. I honestly didn't necessarily hear that. Alright, let's see if I grab another one. Or is that too, uh... Well, I guess I can always do this so I can grab... Unstick. Attach this here. Whoops, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Grab, bring it down a bit. There we go. Thank you. Alright. Run on up. Because you know there's got to be something hidden up here. They didn't just put all those over here and then not have anything at the very top. There's got to be something. Here we go. We got another bow. A Zonai charge. Lovely. Some boxes. Another Zonai charge. Let me see. I feel like there's probably something else. Let me see, if I attach these, then move out of the way, see if there's anything up there. There's not. What if I just chuck these? Can I throw these out? Like, what if that falls on someone's head? I just saw it. 
toppling down from the sky. <laughs> Some poor little Zora's looking up at the sky like, Papa, it's a beautiful day out, and then BAM! Smacks him on the head. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, so I'm gonna do what I said earlier. I'm gonna grab these. Move them away. We're gonna take them down over here to get to the shrine. Okay. Whoop, 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 didn't mean to do that. Stam bulbs, okay. Bulging roots. Whoop, 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 come on. Come on over here, come on. Huh? Wait, why is it not letting me grab these? Do I have to unstick them or something? I'm literally right here. Interesting. Okay, so maybe I'm not allowed to take those down there then. Maybe I just swim across. Or I have to find something else to do. Oh, I guess I can make a boat. I can make a boat using Ultra Hand. Let's see, here we go. Take these guys out. Get some choo-choo jelly out of it. Here we go. Uh, whoa, 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 did the wrong thing. Whoa, 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 careful, careful, careful. All right, hold on. Eat some apples. Let's equip this for the time being. Boom, boom, boom. All right, perfect. Chew jelly. Oh yeah, here's stuff for a boat. In fact, didn't they show this in the gameplay demo? Like a month and a half ago, so... All right, that would make sense. Yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay. Enough stuff for a boat, perfect. Attach this over here. Ba da 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 Perfect. Put this right here. Do I even need a second sail? I wanna fight this guy first, hold on. Come here! Bam! 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 Get out of here! Got a thick stick. Let's see, anything else over here I can grab? Stone axe. Some pots to break. Some more apples. I think we're pretty much good. I'll be fine. Alright. Got a very basic boat. Make my way over here. Careful, careful. Hey, don't go without me. Hey, come here. Come here. Wait, 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 wait. Come here. Hey. Hey, you. Come here. Come here. Bruh. <laughs> All right, so I got to obviously get some more wood then. <laughs> it just left without me. All right. Uh, let's get this axe. Equip it. Here we go. There we go. Perfect. There's one. Get an acorn. <laughs> I can't get over that. All right. I guess I can make it a little bigger, too. Boom, boom, boom. Another one. And then finally, boom, boom, boom. All right, Ultra Hand. Let's do this. Select. Grab. Sticky to here. Sticky to here. Put this right here. I love that there's another sail, because I don't know how the heck I would have gotten over there otherwise. Well, oh, I want to unstick this, though. Wait. Get the sail off of here. There we go. Move backwards. Rotate. Vertical. Okay. Now... I'm going to grab this. I'm gonna have to jump on it. There we go. Here we go. All right, off we go. Perfect. Wind Waker 2 right here. <laughs> this is your Going Merry, Roger? Exactly. Honestly, that would be super fun, like constructing a Going Merry. 
like I said, when I get to Luralin Village, that's when I think I'm going to do all the fun pirate stuff. Because that seems like the perfect location to do it. And that was my favorite area in Base Breath of the Wild as well. I love that area. The little seaside town. I love the music there. I liked my three favorite areas in the original game were Zora's Domain, because that's where Sidon is, Luralin Village, and then probably Terrytown. And I'm sure it is possible. I'm sure we could do that. All right. Yeah, yo, yeah, yo. Let's get out of here. Equip and change our weapons. Let's change to this for a second. I should actually, you know what? No, I'm going to change to the one that only does two because. Oh no, that's a long stick though. I don't want to do that. All right, here we go, here we go. Climb on up. Dude, I'm already having a blast with this. Okay. In Issa Shrine. Okay. I'm assuming this is going to be the fuse one then? Or maybe ascend? I don't know what he's going to give me first. Because I know it's Ultra Hand, Fuse, Ascend, and uh, what's the fourth new thing? The Rewind one. It's Rewind time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh. You've made it here. Now extend your right hand. What are you going to give me? Recall, thank you. I called it Rewind. But yes, Recall. Because that's the one where you could like propel yourself back up in the sky from the little falling blocks, right? Alright, here we go. Fuse. Attach something uh, to an equipped weapon or shield to enhance it. You can undo the fusion, but that'll destroy whatever's been attached. Okay. Mm. Fuse something nearby to your weapon or shield, thereby enhancing it. You got it. Why not pick up that sword just ahead and fuse it to a nearby mm. object? Seems easy enough. Okay. Set our ability, press and hold and select. Okay. The ability to combine. Fuse. Oh, what? You could fuse this with a tree branch? Wait a minute. Take. Okay. Oh, but I can't carry any more. All right, so I have to drop one of these then. I guess I'll drop the branch. And I'll pick up the claymore. So I could just attach this to the very top of it then. Here we go. Fuse. Rusty claymore. Perfect. Bam! There we go. Very nice. See, I don't want to waste this weapon, though. That seems pretty good. Oh, what's over there? What is this? Lots of little goodies? Fire fruit. Fuse attack power, a fruit that generates heat when struck. Cooked correctly, its heating properties improve blood flow and stimulate muscles to raise attack power in high temperatures. Okay. That's cool. I'll grab some of these then. I wonder if this stuff regenerates. Oh, you can get a fire arrow? Okay. Very cool. Now let me see what's down here. Lots of neat stuff over here. Are those little torches that I can light or no? Let's see what's up here. Got a treasure chest up here as well. We'll just break this. Oh, take it down. Pick it up. What do you got for me? Five arrows. Lovely. Anything up there? Not quite yet. Oh, here's the torches. Okay. Perfect. Well, this is easy enough. Take this out. Fuse. Select material to attach. Alright. Fire fruit. Okay. Select. There we go. Per oh. Okay. Is that not going to light the torch? I was thinking that had to be what this was. That's not a torch? What else is up here? Am I missing something else? Whoa, what is that? 
Oh, wait a minute. I didn't even see this. Hold on, Fuse. D this game is already so cool. There's so many different possibilities. All right, make our way up here. Old bow is da badly damaged, that's not good. Hopefully this is another bow. What do we got over here? Small key, lovely, okay. Man, how cool. Here I was thinking that was a little light by the door. Okay, make our way up here, and boom! We're through, making very good progress. By the way, you don't have to have Fuse selected to Fuse Arrows. Oh, that's a really good thing to know, Han Solo. I did not know that. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, here's the Oof. end of the shrine. Perfect. That was easy enough. I take out one of these guys. I could probably set fire to the ground, too. What is this? Oh, he can fuse stuff, too? All right, wait, wait, wait. Before we do that... Fire fruit. Come here, buddy. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. Oh, yes. Fire fruit, go! Come on over here. Light it up, buddy. He only got damaged a little bit. Boom! Boom! Uh-oh, 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 uh careful, careful, careful. I am not letting him do that. Eat some apples, Link. Do not die. Can I chuck this in? There we go! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I like the music here, too. Get over here. I'm in the fuse. Fuse to the wooden stick. Wait, hurry, fuse! Wooden stick, come here. There we go, there we go, there we go. Beat him up. There you go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Whoa, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. All right, chuck it in his face. There we go. Perfect. Your rock hammer broke. That's fine. I got a new bow. This is lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Captain Construct Horn. All right, there's something else up here, too. All right. Let's see this. What is this? Can you light this on fire, or is that something you grab? Spikes! Oh, I can put spikes on my shield? Okay, let's go. I like that. We've got some more fire fruits up here, too. This seems like a good shrine full of materials, then. I feel like we should come back here later on. Though I'm assuming like 20 hours into this game, probably all these materials are going to be obsolete. But, all right, here we go. Perfect. Make our way through here. Now the question is, do fused weapons... Oh, they stay fused. Oh, they do. Oh, then while I'm here, hold on, I should fuse this to this. Okay. Plus one, plus five. Okay. Got a long stick over here, too. Can I fuse spikes to this? This game is fire already. This game is so good, like, already... I'm thinking of so many cool things that I could do. Man, oh man, oh man. And you're probably right, I could probably attach that stuff to spikes. Uh, the spikes to arrows and things. Okay, fuse. There we go. Take another wooden stick. Wait, I want to carry that though. Uh, you know what, maybe I don't need it. Equip this here. See if there's another boulder or something I can grab. Well, I, honestly, even if there's not one over here, that's fine. I don't need that right now. Give me that rock hammer and my spiky shield. I'm good to go. <laughs> Griffin says, are you allowed to stream this game on YouTube? Of course you can stream this game on YouTube. Why not? The game came out officially. I think the only people who were getting strikes were people who um, like were streaming it before the release date. But of course I can. I'm a brand ambassador. Hashtag free game. It's right there in the corner. Of course I'm allowed to stream this. All right. You have done well. Perfect, I got my Light of Blessing. Excellent, now we make our way to the other shrine. We use our new fuse materials. May the Light of Blessing grant you the strength you seek. Lovely. I can't believe how wild this game is already. I know, like, it's one thing to see it in a gameplay demonstration, but then it's another thing to actually be playing it and fusing everything that you see with everything else. 
Like, look at how huge this little map is. And this is just like the tutorial area. This is the equivalent of the Great Plateau in the first game. Failed to get me. Would you fail to get me? Okay. Drugs? Oh, an energy cell, a gift from Zonai Construct, designed to be worn on a belt that can power Zonai devices. It looked like a little pillbox for a second, didn't it? I really, no joke, thought he gave him drugs. I thought it was like energy pills or something. That's crazy. Little pharmacist Zonai Construct. I have... And he has associates. Look at this. I have associates on the other side of that cave system. They can teach you how to use them. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I hope the energy cells I provided is useful to you. Okay. Let's go use our drugs. All right. How do we get through? Let's see. Wooden stick. See, I can fuse all this stuff now. I got my little rock boulder. But while I'm thinking of it, hold on. Weapons. I, I want to fuse rocks to everything. So these are our little batteries for constructing stuff. I'll take this. Can I fuse... Can I fuse a stick to a stick? Oh, you can. Okay. Well, let me see. Stone halberd. Wait, what? Oh! Interesting. Rusty broadsword. I'm going to wait to fuse something to that thick stick. Attach this. Fuse again. Oh, a sail one too? Wait a minute. See, I have everything fused. I'm not gonna grab that right now though. Though I do think like a sail sword would be useful. Ah, uh, no, no, no. There's gotta be other stuff. Why am I worried about it right now? I got plenty of stuff right now. All right. Come on down here. Leave those little choo-choos alone. Get over here! Bam! Look at that! Dude, we are obliterating them now! This is awesome! Alright! Wham! There we go. Get them out of here. Okay, we got the chew jelly. We got more of these thick sticks. I'm not worried about it. Alright. I got my spiky shield. Okay, going back through the cave over here. This is a plank attached? What is this? Board Guster. Boom. Boom. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do here. Bam! There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, oh no, it broke! I was like, can I set it on fire and attack him with it? Okay. I should probably drop that. Here we go. Boom! Get him too. Or I wonder, like, if I could construct a horn. Hmm. Could. <sighs> no, I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm not gonna do that yet. That's fine. That's fine. I got plenty of materials, plenty of weapons. I'm okay. Though, I guess. Let me see. If I pick this up and fuse this to a stone. There we go. I might be better off. Okay. Make our way through the caves. The pond side cave. Bright bloom seeds. All right. Oh, hello. Boom, 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 boom. Now, I know you attach the eyeballs to the arrows and they become homing missiles. I remember that from the gameplay demonstration. What's this over here? Okay, we got a giant rock. Let me try to break this with this then. Equip. There we go. Rock salt. I'm assuming I could attach the salt to a sword. Hello, what are you, buddy? Little frog? Okay. Bubble gem, a strange crystal left by defeating bubble frogs in caves. Its blue glow can entice you to collect even more. Okay. Got 
got some flint. I'm getting all kinds of good stuff. And you could fuse attack power from the different materials you already got. More of these keys. <laughs> see, at this point, I'm just exploring. By the way, did you see that? Those were the little bunnies that gave you rupees in the first game. Yeah, the little bunny that popped out of the frog thing. Yep. But I didn't know they originate from frogs. Nice. I got an old tunic. Lovely. I'll equip that. Now, can I fuse things on my clothes? Okay, and here's the battery power stuff that they were talking about. The Zonai charges and everything we're probably going to use for this. The rafts are for crossing to the other side. Transportation is on hold indefinitely. This is ordinarily where we send resources across the river. The Zonai devices are undamaged. Okay, these are the little engine things. A fan. You can produce wind on demand by striking it. They are useful, and we have a variety of Zonai devices for multitudinous purposes. Using them does require energy, though, which is why we have the little energy cells in the pill bottle they gave us earlier. Right there. So I'm assuming we can get a whole bunch of them later on. Imagine when you've got eight Zonai charges, and you can just fly through the sky on, like, a jet plane. That's going to be incredible. All right. Capacity is not unlimited. Use the energy contained wisely. Otherwise, you may run out at inopportune moments. All right. So we need a raft. You got it. Now... Do we need a flying raft? I'm trying to get up there, right? Or does it just get me to the other side? Let's see what else we got. Break some of these pots open, get some good stuff in there, maybe. Nope. Alright, well, then let's Ultra Hand some stuff. Ultra Hand, grab. Whoops. We may have need of these parts. There are more materials near the water available for your use. Okay. Oh, these over here. I see, I see. I see. We got a whole bunch of stuff over here. Look at this. Grab this. Here, come on over here. Or can I grab this? It should let me grab this, no problem. Rotate. Or maybe it won't let me. Maybe I just have to jump up here. Let's see. This it'll definitely let me grab. And then I can attach that to here. And then grab this. And attach this up here. Hopefully it sticks. Okay, it did. That's good enough. Walking on it while it's tilting, but that's fine. You never know what might be up here. Cool little area. All right, let's see. Because now I'm assuming I could just pick up that whole construct and move it up here. Right? Grab. No, not quite. Hmm. See, there must be a reason that it let us walk over here, though. There is definitely something over there. Is there water down there? I'm gonna jump into the water. Oh no, that's a hole. Wait a minute. Oh no, that is water. There we go. Perfect. We got a fish over here? Dude, there's so much that I want to do. I'm just... Okay. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Put this away. Oh, I don't have a bow equipped. Alright. Equip this. There we go. Get myself some fish. You know you're going to need those later. I'll grill it on up. Alright. Ultra hand. Pick this up. Attach it to here. Pick this up and attach it to here as well. And then, I'm assuming if they said that's a raft, then you could power it up by striking it. I could just put that here. It's not going to go anywhere yet. Put this here. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I screwed up. 
Wait, grab. Is there a way to cancel the charge? Wait, I, I don't want to... There we go, turn it off. Okay. Okay, let's go to Ultra Hand again. Grab this. Unsticky it. There we go. Rotate it. This is, a, I mean, truly amazing. The fact that they have all this on here. All right. Uh, no, rotate a little bit more. Attach. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now, if I hit this, that should push us over here, right? Yeah, there we go. Lovely. All right, great. Great. We're turning. We're going to go across the wall. We make it to the other side. Beautiful. It works. Moving a little slow. I probably could have picked up another battery, but... Come on, buddy. You got this. Unless I can attach it while I'm riding on it. I wonder if that's a possibility. Oh, no. Okay, I don't need to. I'm fine. We'll make it over here just fine. Well, maybe not. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Sticky. Grab. Unstick. There we go. There we go. There we go. Well, it's still moving at the same pace, so... Maybe not, but that's fine. You know what? We made it to the other side, and that's what matters. Let's go, Link. Alright, perfect. Oh, I don't want to throw that yet. I'm gonna grab some of these flints. Break some of these, get some arrows. Very good. See, and then the other thing I'm wondering is, can I fuse arrows and store them? So, like, if I attach this, and then I put it away, will I still have a... F okay, I won't, I won't, I won't. I was gonna say, will I still have a fire arrow if I try to pull it out again? Roger really is MacGyver? Your placement was wonky with that fan? Hey, again, we made it work! We made it work! I'm not worried! Alright, here we go. Some chew jellies, let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Lovely. Alright, now we're looking to get over there, right? So I'm assuming if we grab one of those little fans... Unless this is going to lead us up there naturally. Hold on, let me see. Uh... Let me see this. We have a fire over here, some flint, some sticks. I feel like I'll I should probably fight these guys. Get whatever that is over there. I guess I could start fusing some materials too to get the attack power up. Can I fuse this? Like what's that gonna do? Just oh, there we go, something. Ooh, whoa, okay. Well, let's see. What else can I fuse? Chew jelly. What's this going to do? Freeze him? Which is, okay, adds water damage. Fine. Whoop. Take this stuff. Get these out of the way. Whoop, careful, careful, careful. Hold on. That thing's going to kill me if I don't eat something. There we go. Get out of there. Hit this guy. Perfect. Take these back. Get my arrows back. There we go, Link. A little more, a little more. Chuck it at him. Oh, no! No! Oh, my God, I'm dead. Oh, no! I saw right there the opportunity. I'm like, I can eat an apple. I'm good. Oh, I screwed up. Okay, that's fine. I know what I did wrong, though. That's A-OK. -okay. <laughs> I was too focused on trying to fuse things and do other cool stuff. All right, here we go. Battle tip. It's dangerous to approach them head-on when you're low on hearts. So always be prepared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I didn't even use my shield. I have that spiky shield. I could have done that earlier, too. Alright. Here we go. Get this chew jelly. Get this back. Hold on. Oh, that was the same way that I went. Okay, let's climb back up here. So I've been dying to get uh, more of this game, for real. Dude, this game really is so much fun so far. And I'm only like an hour in. 
And we've already done two of the missions. We got Fuse, we got Ultra Hand. The story opening was really, really hype. I think just getting to explore the environment and fight the different enemies, taking our time, seeing what else we can do in the world has been a lot of fun. All right, Fuse. First thing, Fire Fruit. Set those barrels on fire. I'm gonna get Keese Eyeball. That's a homing shot, right? There we go, very nice. Okay, if I attach salt to an arrow, will it get salt in their eyes? It did a little bit of extra damage. Let's do more chew jellies. Boom, right over there, perfect. Rock hammer, perfect. Boom, boom. Lovely, 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 lovely. Now, I'm assuming I could probably burn his weapon. Here, let me get my apple back and my fish. So if I do this and then select material, do a fire fruit, and then aim for his weapon, I could probably burn it. Oh, no, almost, almost, almost. I missed. What? Did he shoot it back at me? So these guys are no joke. Maybe I should just stay far away, take out the other two, and then homing arrow onto his eyeball, and then I should be good. Excuse me. Here we go. Oh, he had his own bow. Oh, well, that'll do it. That'll do it. I didn't see he had a bow. I just thought he had that giant, like, plank-looking thing. All right, here we go. Third time's a charm. Get this out of here. Thank you, by the way, to Isaac for becoming a member. 50 months, saying I've died so many times so far. Those constructs are tough dudes. I'm still exploring the Great Sky Island, but man, this game is a ton of fun. It really is. All right. So here's what we're going to do. First off, do what we did last time. Fuse. I'm taking care of the big guy first. Fire fruit again. Set him off. Captain Construct Horn. Do some extra damage. There we go. One more. Okay. Big guy's down now. This should be a cakewalk at this point now. Perfect. I've still got my spiky shield if I need to. Let the fire go over there, take out the rest of them. They're throwing barrels at me and stuff. Ooh, ooh, we got some good stuff. Wait a minute. Rusty shield, rusty broadsword. Uh, I kind of like the axes, though. But I can fuse. Here, drop this. Grab this. And then if I take the broadsword out, equip, and then fuse it to something... What's this going to do? Extend the reach? Bam! 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 Perfect! Perfect! Lovely! I love the little flourish at the end of the fights, too. Okay. We made it. Perfect. bum 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 Opal. up yet. I don't necessarily need those. Construct bow. We got another rusty broadsword. I feel like it might be useful to have one. Equip this. Can I fuse it to another one and just... Oh, here we go! Yeah! There we go! Double rusty broadsword. Okay. Then let's see. Bow. Old wooden bow. Equip. And then, okay, you can't fuse that to anything. Maybe I should just drop this one then. And pick up the construct one instead. That's better. Okay, perfect. And I also don't want to waste that weapon now. Look at that. Rusty broadsword broadsword. <laughs> uh, log club. I'm going to go back to my little rock hammer. Dude, I just like that everything <laughs> is fusible. That's so cool. Oh, we got a little minecart over here. This is cool. I'm assuming this is going to take me to where the next shrine is. Let me see on the map. Where is the next shrine? Is it up here? 
He needs to shrug. Oh no, it's over here. Hmm. I'm gonna ultra hand. Grab this. Rotate it. Perfect. Put it over here. Attach it. Ultra hand again. Grab this entire thing. Drop that there. Climb on up. Perfect, let's go! Alright! Discovery, the mining cave. Oh, there's little bright blue things in there. Can I destroy this? No? Okay, we're just stuck there. Please wait. This cave is especially dark. You'll need a light in order to proceed to the mining site. I do have bright bloom seeds. Alright. So I'm assuming I could just attach those. Cause like if I if I fuse an arrow, right, with the bright bloom. There we go. And then I shoot it. There you go. Perfect. Okay, a little more. What's over here? What is this? Zonaiite, an unusual material that has many purposes. Okay. I feel like it's gonna be useful a little later on. Let's do uh, arrow again. Fuse. Open this area up. Lots of stuff over here. I'm also wondering, does that stuff stick? Kind of the Zonai charge, perfect. More Zonaiites. Perfect. And honestly, I'm just gonna let my rock hammer break. So if I pick this up. Actually, wait a minute, I could. Yeah, take this. Fuse. With this, I get another one. What am I even worried about? Let's go. We got this. More Zonaiites. Get this rock. All right. Let's move further down. Got another little area over here. I don't even need to see in here. I'm good. Break this stuff open. Two of these. Um, what's going on over here? Is he making weapons or something? Seems like it. Excuse me. That's already slated for processing. It would pose difficulties for me if you took it for yourself. It's a unique material that can be mined far beneath the land below. There are trace deposits of it on this island as well, but they're limited to this cave. It flourished by processing these substances into other materials. Oh. Okay. So weapon crafting? Zonai tech that's powered by Zonai charges. Okay. Thank you. Can I take any of these? Exchange. Can be used for energy cell improvement. Ooh. Okay, let's get a bunch of these then. Get all my charges back. Oh, hold on, let me go get some more Zonai. Eh? Hold on. Because I know there's some over here. Get this stuff. Very, very nice. Let's keep going. I didn't even have to use a bright bloom for that. And there's more over here. Break some of these. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm assuming I can come back here and then get more later, too. Unless it remembers that I already mined it and I just can't mine it. Or I'll help this guy. Sorry, buddy. 
All right, here we go. 28. There we go. I'll take them all. Beautiful. And I'll take this last little bit, too. Perfect. All right, now I'm going to bright bloom. Here we go. Drop this down here. There we go. And this is obviously... What are these? I have not given permission to take those. Zonai capsules? A convenient means of carrying portable Zonai devices. You'll lend me a few. Alright, well thank you. Oh, so you don't actually need to find fans in the environment. You could just use the capsules and then create stuff that way. Okay. So is this what the giant gotcha machine was about? Like, there was that one trailer where they showed what appeared to be a giant gotcha machine. It must be that you get little Zonai bubble things, and then you could get different items to then create different things on the overworld. All right. The spares I gave you were the last ones I carried. Take care not to forget again. Okay. Well, thank you for all your help, everybody. All right, let's fuse. Oops, actually, hold on. Ultra Hand. The mine cart over here. Put this right here. Boom. And then where's the capsule? Fuse. Like, let's see if it lets me... Zonai capsule. Take out device. Quickly take out materials. Press and hold. Oh! Wow, okay, so once I actually get the full hang of this, this is going to be a breeze. Rotate this. Put it right there. Oh, here, the placement's a little wonky. Let me unstick that. No, 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 no. Sorry, buddy. We stick that there. Unstick this. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then, place that, I think, like, right there. That's good. Okay, perfect. Hit this. We got our charges ready to go. We're good. Making our way up. Perfect. Dude, this is so much fun. Like, the possibilities really are endless. Like, this is just a tutorial. I'm imagining once I'm actually in Hyrule and exploring the other Sky Islands and going through the underground, this is going to be awesome. Or, like, in a dungeon? The fact that we have dungeons again? I love it. All right, stop the charge right there. I'm assuming I can't put the fan back. All right, what's up, Rauru? The time bell that sounds from the Temple of Time sets a time each morning and evening. Along with the constructs, we woke to the sound of the bell. When we heard it in the evening, we knew it was time to rest. It also played its part in our traditional ceremonies. In a way, it was this place's beating heart. The sight of the temple and the sound of its bell stir fond memories within me. Okay. Oh yeah, so here's the little gotcha machine then. Device dispenser. Yeah, let's try it. Produces Zonai capsules. Resources accepts are things like construct horns and Zonai charges. Okay. Goodbye. Okay, so then I could drop, let's see, press and hold. Wrong thing, up here. Construct horn, whoops. Oh, I can't take that out here? Oh, I have to process it. Oh, that's all right, I'm not gonna do that right now. We're good, we're good, we're good. Chuck this over here. Break some of these. Arrow. Who is this? I need you to reach my friend. Who are you? Yeah. Oh, the little Koroks! Yeah. One of the children of the forest. I was traveling with my friend, yeah. but we got separated. He's over there? I can't wait to catch up. I'm so tired, though. I can't move. 
Can I pick him up? <laughs> you can! Yeah, come here, buddy. <laughs> I'm not going to do this, but I was gonna stick him in the minecart, smack it, and then send it all the way back. But I won't. He's a good little Korok. He just wants to see his friend. All right. I'm not gonna do that to him. <laughs> the possibilities for messing with the little Koroks are probably endless in this, too. All right, here we go. Put this over here. We'll get you to your friend, no problem. Let me in there with you. Boom. And off we go. Perfect. Why? Alright, turn this thing off. Ultra hand, take the little guy out. Or is it not letting me? Here, if I, can I rotate it? Can I just dump him out here? <laughs> Come on. Unstick. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. All right, here we go. Come here. Come here. Come here. Unstick this. There we go. There we go. <laughs> You're all right. I made it thanks to you. Reunited at last. I'd like to give you something, but here's all I have. We got two Korok seeds. Lovely. So I'm wondering... Are there not puzzles then? I mean, this is technically kind of a little puzzle, but are there not going to be like the Korok seed little things scattered around the map? There's going to be little Koroks that you have to try to get reunited? That's kind of cute. All right, we're good. Make our way over here, see if there's anything good. There is. There's a treasure chest. Fantastic. Zonai Ite. Perfect. Get some more apples over here. Boom, arrows, okay. Now let's see, is there anything else over here? We have a hook, I'm assuming that'll get me onto this little other area. Okay, but the track is broken. Hmm. Let me attach this to this side. Whoops. All right, and then we'll rotate it vertically. Turn it over a little bit. Because then I'm assuming we could just do this, attach a fan to it. I can hop up there, and then we are good to go. We'll be moving. Let me grab this fan. Or actually, I could just... Well, I already made that one. Here we go. Whoop. Rotate vertical. Put that right here. And then, if I attach this to here, well, I guess I can rotate it this way, right? And we're locked onto it. And then I leap up and I hit this. Whoops, oops, 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 oops. That should propel me. Yep, there we go. That'll take me up here. Perfect! The only thing is this is kind of like attached incorrectly. Wait, let me hop on up. Let me turn this off to not waste my charge. Ultra hand grab. Unsticky this. Rotate. Um, yeah, I could probably put both on there, right? Oh, no, not what I wanted to do. All right, unsticky this again. There we go, there we go, there we go. Yeah, I guess I could attach it to that and it's going to work all the same. And then that way this can be flat. I don't have to worry about it connecting to something else. Like, I... Can I attach it to the floor, maybe? And then when I get in there... Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Climb on in. Perfect. There we are. All right. Nice. Look at that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Made our way up. Lovely. 
Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Leap on out. Dude, that was awesome. Okay, so now I'm close to another shrine, right? It's just on the other side. This is awesome. You know what it reminds me of a lot? Little Big Planet. The old, the first version. I haven't really played the other Little Big Planets, but like the very first Little Big Planet years ago on PS3, I loved. And the way that you would craft and fuse different things in this game feels so similar to that game as well. All right, so now let's go up here. Grab this, looks like there's another bow. Portable pot. Oh, for cooking food, okay. Can I grab this little thing? No, I can't, okay. Oh, there's like a boss over there or something too. Okay, and there's obviously the shrine. I see it up there. Hmm. I guess I got other ways of going around this. Let's... There's a little cave and everything. We were already up here. I guess I could have just bypassed all that, but I kind of want to fight this thing. Even though I only have three hearts, I feel like I want to at least try. Temperature's getting low. Find warmth. Can I even fight that thing yet? I don't know. Okay, maybe I don't want to risk that. Hmm, but I could bring this platform over here, right? Ultra hand. Rotate. Hmm. If I jump from here, can I attach it to this wall? No? I guess not. I mean, I... Hmm. I guess I can carry it through here. And then maybe if I attach something else to it. Let's see. If I attach... Oh, you know what? This will extend it. Let's do this. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Do I not have any more axes? Oh, here we go, okay, equip. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's attach this to this. Then we'll have a little extra range. We could run across. And I'll attach another one to the other side. Here we go. Get my other axe, I'll get some apples out of this too. Get some of these. Okay, because then this way, I could sort of balance the plat- wait, where did it go? Oh, there it is. I was like, I could balance the platform on the other side over there and then jump over to where that boss is. Yeah, let's see, rotate. That should be enough. It's kind of jank, but that'll do. You can always unstick that. Vertical. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay. And then I've got plenty of other materials. I've got some food. I can eat that. I got a seared steak that I won't use just yet. I've got an apple. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Let's grab this. Because I think, like I said, I could put this platform. I might have to lift it a little bit, but. I should be able to place it over here. Here we go. Rotate. There we go. Oh, just barely. It might not make it. Oh, no, it will, it will, it will, it will, it will. There we go. 
There we go. Look at that. Okay. Good, 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 good. All right. Now I can eat this. Leap. All right. Let's see. We got a boss over here. Fuse materials. Let's see. Flux construct. Okay. I'm ready. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! Jeez. Okay, hold on. How do you fight this thing? I'm assuming you have to shoot it in its eyeball or something. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, no, hold on. Here we go. There we go. Oh, that's not too bad. I can beat this thing. Wait a minute. Come here. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. There we go. I got this. I got this. I got this. Just stay out of its way. I got this. Whoa! Okay, I'm healing. All right, come here. Because I'm assuming if I have my spiky shield... Oh, yes, good! That worked! Boom, there we go, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Boom, 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 boom! What is that? What was the other thing I grabbed? Oh, good, okay. Oh, good, we got this, we got this! Boom, 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 boom! All right! Let's go, I'm taking down my first boss, all right. Oh, this is clean. Dude, this is so cool! Come on. Drop to the ground, come on. Da -da 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 -da. Construct bow is badly damaged. All right, then maybe I should. Oh, I love the music here too. Oops, 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 no, 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 no. Careful, 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 careful. Fuse again. Can I set this thing on fire? Oh no, wait a minute, this thing, wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, I have, I have to get a new bow. That thing's gonna crush me if I don't get out of the way. All right. Equip. Go, 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 go. All right, perfect. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Come here, Link. Come here, come here, come here. Boom, 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 boom. Can I, can I? Oh! Oh, no, he picked him up. I was like, did I just kill him by throwing him off? Now, hold on. He's a robot thing. So if I fuse water to this, is it going to short circuit him? Oh! That did something. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see, I see, I see, I see. Hold on. I see the eyeball. There we go. A little more. Oh, this is fire! One more, one more! Oh, get out of the way, get out of the way, out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. Grab this. Dude, this... I'm just like playing through this fight. This game is amazing, man. All right, here we go. Little more, little more, come on. Get it right in its eyeball. Eight, seven, six, whoops. Oh, here! Woo! Last minute, there we go! Flux Construct. Dead! Perfect! Look at all these Zonite charges and portable pots. Flame Emitter, a Zonite device that shoots fire. Okay! And then what is this? Can I Ultra Hand or fuse this to one of my weapons? Alright. Let's see. Uh, Stone Axe. Do I have anything that I can attach this to? Fuse, rock hammer, log club. You know what? Let's destroy fused material. Equip. Grab. Can I fuse whatever this is? Flux construct core. Ooh, plus 10? That is what I like to see. 15 damage early. Let us go. Ricky said, me and Justin are watching. You got, you went crazy on that boss. Dude, I, I figured it's right there. I know I could go up to the shrine, but I'm like, why not find a way to get over here, take that guy out, get a good weapon early on. There was no reason not to. Oh my God. Okay, I gotta be careful though when I get back up there. Uh, I gotta hope and pray I don't fall. 
Okay, 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 okay. Now, we're not gonna go this way, obviously, because that's icy. We'll get Frostburn, but... Oh, hold on, wait, I should take that thing with me. Wait, 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 wait. I made this awesome platform thing that can get me across stuff. I should probably take it. All right. Come here. There we go. Make our way all the way back. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba-da-ba-boom. Alright, what is that down there? Is it regular rocks or something? Cause see, if I can carry this all the way over there... Oh, this is just floating in the sky? I'm assuming I can carry that up here. Let's see, I'll leave it right here for now. Then let's make our way back up to where we were, grab a fan, and then go up the other side. The only pro- oh, I think I screwed up. I think I left- I think I left that attached over there. I mean, I could make another one really quick, but that would have been nice if I still had that. Alright, here we go. Thank you, by the way, DJ Warready, for becoming a member saying, just got back from, um... An AW? I don't know what that means. Time to watch the best streamer and peak gaming. Uh, here is onwards and upwards to 500k subs. It's been eight months already. Dude, I hope. I would love to hit 500k. That'd be amazing. Let's hit 350 first. That's a short-term goal that we can definitely hit. Let's do that first. All right. I just love you guys who are here right now. This is fantastic. And all the new subscribers and all the new followers, welcome. If you're joining for this Tears of the Kingdom stream, welcome, welcome. I see another one of the members live right now playing Fire Emblem. Shout out to Blood Aura. All right, let's go. Dude, this game rules, man, I'll tell you. Oh no, okay, it made its way back. Perfect. Oh, this is great, okay. Fantastic, it just made its way back down. Climb back up here, hit this, zone I charge, make sure to turn it off afterwards, conserve our charges, lovely, and then now we gotta get back up here. Now, with that turned off, let's see, can I do what I did before? and grab that platform that I made that was so useful to get to that Flux Construct boss and get that up here. That would be ideal. I think it might be out of range is the only problem. I think it is. I think it's out of range. All right, that's okay. I have another plan. I think. Let's see. Because obviously I can't just climb all the way up there. I don't have the stamina for that. Huh. I don't know, maybe I can. I get some zone eye charges. Maybe I can climb up there. Let's see. See, because I think if I can make a ramp to get up there and then a ramp to get up here, we're in business. I just need some wood for that. Sky screw. We have more hooks over here, too. Here, let's cut some of this down. Let's, uh... Let open this axe. Get some of these wood planks. Whoops. Okay. Playing this game alongside you, Roger, is so fun. Oh, I'm glad! Glad you're playing alongside me. All right. Now, Ultra Hand. One. Two. Perfect. Three. Four. That should get me across. I'm gonna take this giant stick. And maybe it's not far enough. 
Oh no 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 don't fall don't fall don't fall. No, maybe I can't. Okay. Can I angle it to get up to the roof though? I bet you I can. Rotate. Yeah, like this. There we go. Oops. A little more, a little more. There we go. There we go! Climb on up. A little more. Yes, good. Good, that worked. Alright, great. Perfect. Now grab this from up here. Rotate it a little bit. Lay it kind of flat. Whoops. And then we just gotta be really careful, but we should be good to go. Yes! Yes! Okay. Climb on up. Do not fall, Link. It's stressing me out. Oh my god. Alright. We did it. Perfect. Ultra Hand, I'm taking this with me. You never know how useful this is gonna be. And then the shrine is just over there. Put that in a nice safe place right there. Perfect. Is that, is that a... Uh-oh, no, don't roll off, don't roll off, don't roll off! Wait, 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 wait! Oh my gosh. Stop, 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 stop rolling. Okay. Uh, nope. Let's eat an apple. Is this like a Korok seed puzzle? Got a little eagle over here, too? America. Boom. Alright, here we go. Rubber drumstick. <sighs> All right, I gotta watch out for my hearts, too. You guys are right. I'll have my steak right now. I'm good. All right. Ultra hand, move this around. Grab this. Rotate. Right there. Yeah! Of course. You're not, Hestu. But you see me? I didn't know someone could see the children of the forest. If you see Hestu, please return this to him. Believe me, we will. We're going right back to him. We're going to Hestu. We're going to Lurlin. We're going to go see my pal Sidon. We're going to see everybody. My friends are hiding in lots of different places. Keep an eye out while you wander. You already know. All right. Now let me see. See, it's kind of chilly up here, though. We got to warm up. I guess I have those fire fruits. Here, eat one of those. There we go. Got another bird over there. There's the shrine. Now let me see. If I climb up here... Hmm... What are these? Habanero peppers or something? Spicy peppers. Perfect. Raise your body temperature. I'm gonna need that. Oh, maybe I get over there? Also, is there an enemy over here? Oh, I think there is. Okay. Boom! Oh, there we go! There we go! You got this, Link! Pick this stuff up. Get a construct horn. Long stick. <laughs> A thick stick. Perfect. Do I, do I have anything really good that I can cook right now? Let's make something. Sit here. Pass time by the fire. Sit till morning. Heal up a little bit. I want to cook though. Cool. All right, let's make materials. Let's do apple, fire fruit, and
uh, a steam bulb. Okay, and cook it. Let's see what we get. Apples and onions are always a good combo, so I feel like... There we go, simmered fruit, perfect! Okay, good, I can make another one of those then. Let's do, um... Let's see, bright bloom, fruit, and... There we go. Spicy drumsticks, let's make this. Back, cook. See, now we're gonna be good. We're gonna have lots of HP. Score, here we go. Scorching simmered fruit. A low level attack enhancement in hot places, cool. Make a little more then. Drumstick. Hold this with some salt. A little bit of spice. Back, cook this, see what we got. Is he humming, by the way? Scor Ooh, scorching salt grilled meat. Delicious. All right, now I'm feeling pretty good, because now... Lovely. All right, we're trying to get up there to that shrine. Oh, hold on, wait, I have a bow and eagle. Uh, let's see. Equip. Let me see. What's this over here? Tree branch? Melee weapons. Oh, this is probably where I get ascend. This is probably the cavern where you get ascend and you go all the way up. Oh, oh no, wait, that's not a good guy. That's a bad guy. Uh oh. <laughs> I thought that was one of the good ones. The little stewards. All right, uh, all right, let's equip this. The Flux Pounder. Let's eat some Sky Shrooms and a Fire Fruit. Get the heck out of here. Oh, whoa! Oh no! He froze me? Oh, that's not good. That's not good, that's not good. That's fine though. We sat by the fire, we made some food, we're good. I can make my way through this. <laughs> Gabe Ortiz in the chat saying, That's a spicy meatball! <laughs> okay. We got some more simmered fruit. Fuse. Obviously, I'm just going to set this stuff on fire. Burn these guys. Melt them away. Perfect. Evaporate them. Fuse this again. Catch them off guard with the chew jelly. There we go. Come on in. Beat him down. Boom, a little bit more from the stone axe. We're good, the axe broke. I'm gonna use my halberd, cause I just wanna waste it. Whoops, 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 hold on. I don't wanna use my other meals yet. Whoa, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. There we go. Uh, I want to use my axe. I'll equip this. I guess I'll eat another meal. Why not? There we go. Boom. A little more. Man, he's still not dead. Fuse. Chew jelly. There we go. Perfect. Got another construct bow. Got the zonai charges. Lovely. Broadsword, got some spicy peppers, white chew jelly, very good. I can use those for ice arrows. I don't want to throw the material, we're good. All right, make our way into this cave. Oh, and that's gonna lead us up, perfect. Discovery, bottomless cave. Bomb flowers, okay. Perfect for bomb arrows. Let's see this. Make our way up here. Actually, there's something down here, too, I want to grab. Let's see. I'm grabbing everything. I feel like you never know when you're going to need a bomb flower. Oh, never mind. Don't look down. Right, jump. Amber. Perfect. I will save that for a future weapon. Do not fall. Do not fall. Do not fall. Alright, bomb flower hasn't regrown yet, so let's just get back up. Get 
Another one. Oh, is that a like like? I have not seen one of them in a Zelda game for a minute. All right, hold on. Fuse. Let's do a bomb arrow into the mouth. Ooh, that looks horrible. I'm sorry, buddy. Um. Open your mouth, say ah. Uh. Ah, uh, come on. Ah. Uh. Put the airplane in. All right, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. All right, equip this. Now's the time to attach this. There we go, dude. Woo! Okay. Okay. <laughs> like, like stones made of crystallized inner fluids and good for elixirs. And we got a treasure chest over here too. Perfect. All right, opals. Man, there's all kinds of enemies in this one. Lots of bright bloom seeds, lovely. I don't want to use my really, really good weapon yet. I'm gonna switch back to my rusty broadsword that's gonna break soon anyway. Is that, is that a treasure chest over there? No, it's just a mushroom, I won't worry about that. Got some more bright blooms over here. Giant bright bloom seed, bomb flower. And you know what, since it's gonna break anyway, let's just fuse this with the broadsword. This game is so much fun, I can't even get over just how imaginative it is and all the different ways to solve different puzzles and it's a blast. All right, actually, you know what I could do? I could attach, this is gonna break anyway, right? Let's see, can I draw him out? Because I bet there's probably like a preferred thing to do to this thing. Go, there we go. Gotta lure him out. Switch this back. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, oh, hold on, I don't want to. It's badly damaged. I gotta repair that. So hold on, I don't want to use that yet. My rusty broadsword, broadsword. Boom, boom. There we go. Lovely. Get all this good stuff. Flame emitter shield. Ooh, okay. More bright bloom seeds. We got more treasure chests. Love to see it. Opal, very nice. Bum, 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 bum. A Zonai device that shoots fire, thought to originally be used as protection from monsters. I wonder if you could fuse that to a sword that then creates like a flamethrower or something. That'd be kind of neat. All right, now I'm up here. Made it. Ohara's live playing Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom, I mean. So is Endekuba. See, all my buddies are coming online now. All right. Let's see. Eat this up. Make our way up. I'm assuming this one's gonna have to be Ascend. Oh, there's like another little thing over here too. Do we climb? Icy surfaces are hard to climb. Other slick surfaces, okay. Hmm, I gotta be careful, man. I'm getting low on health. I feel like I jump in that water, I'm gonna die too. How the heck? Maybe I just make a, a little ladder or something? Again, I have to eat. I gotta be careful. I'm running low on food. Oh, my rusty broadsword broke. Uh, give him my axe. Here we go, a little more of this. Hopefully one of these trees has an apple on it. Nope, 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 drop down. Wait, how did I make an axe again? Grab this. Attach that. Oh my gosh, I gotta heal bad. Attach this here. Attach here. And then... Vertical rotation. 
Will that get me up there? Can I use this? Maybe? Okay, I think I think it will. Oh my god, I am so close to the shrine. I just gotta get to the shrine. That works. That I cannot believe that worked. But it did. Alright, perfect, 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 perfect. There's the shrine. Hurry, run. Link, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Do I have anything else to eat? Oh my gosh. I am so close to death right now. Oh no. Go, 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 Link. Go. We made it. We made it. We made it. Woo! That was so close, but we made it. Lovely. If it works, it works. Exactly. Oh, man. I did not think I was going to make it. I made just enough food, got just enough stuff to get us to get us up there. Oh, I was close. I mean, I was I was quickly chopping down those trees, trying to make a little makeshift ladder. I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to climb it. It was messy. All right. We're making good progress. You made it. Extend your right hand. Give me again. What do we got? Give me ascend, please. That's what I want. I want ascend. So I could just go right down, right up. He'll probably give me recall, though. I feel like recall is more useful for a shrine. Oh, no. I think this is ascend. That looks like ascend. It was a little guy going like this and then a giant... Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Upwards through solid material and emerge on top of it. Mm. Perfect. That would have been so useful in the area we were just in, but... Okay, let you travel through what's directly above you to ascend through it and emerge on the top. Beautiful. You'll find it useful in all sorts of places and situations. Mm. Receive the blessing from the shrine. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. The ability to rise. Alright, ascend. Seems easy enough. Whee! Go all the way up. Hey! Thank you, by the way, to Metroid Dread, who just gave a $50 donation after another $100 donation from earlier in the stream, saying, good stuff, Roger. You barely made it, but we made it. Thank you once again. Coming through with the Pizza Hype Metroid Dread. Greatly appreciate that. And thank you once again to all you that are in the chat right now, too. I haven't said it in a while. We've been streaming for a long time already. Lots of people in here. Thank you very much for choosing to watch me on launch day. I know there's lots of people streaming Tears of the Kingdom. I know there's a lot of people who are going to want to watch the VOD of this later afterwards. But for those of you who are here live right now, I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. And of course, thank you to Dread for that amazing donation again, man. Holy mackerel. Wow. All right. Let us continue. Boom. Uh-oh. Wait, wait, wait. No. I accidentally clicked the exit button. Hold on. Whoop. Ascend. There we go. All the way up. Swim on through. Whoops. Wait, why do I keep... Oh, I keep clicking back. I have to click A instead of B. All right. Here we go. Exit. Can I just go all the way up here? Can I skip all of this? You probably can, let's see. Oh, yeah, okay. I could have gone up one and gone up the other, but okay, all right. Exit here. Let's see. The only thing is I have to be super, super duper careful right now. Uh, let's equip this. Because I don't really have any food. Oh, he only has a bow and arrow? That's not too bad. Get a Zonai charge. What is this? That's weird. Do I just cut this? Or maybe burn it? Here, I'll... Uh, I'll just equip this, because it doesn't really matter. Or no, maybe not. Thank you, by the way, to Nick... For giving five, saying hello, Roger, playing Tears of the Kingdom right now as well. Never been a big Zelda fan due to bad experiences when I was younger, but man, this game is so much fun. I do find that people who didn't really like Zelda growing up, who then played Breath of the Wild, ended up really liking Breath of the Wild, so does not surprise me. I am curious, though, did you play Breath of the Wild, or is this your very first one? All right, let's ultra hand this. Let's see. 
grab this. He's not going to let me? Okay. So I can't cut the... Oh, no, I can. Okay. Okay, and we'll just ascend up the top. Ascend. Exit out of here. Beautiful. And then last but not least, this little area over here, we're just going to wait. Till it's all the way up. Or do I have to go under it? There we go. Okay, exit. Easy enough. So you can only ascend to a certain height. Boom, we made it. Swimming on through. All right, easy. Anything over there that I might have missed? No? All right, I think we're good. Let's get this blessing and get the heck out of here. All right, great. Easy enough. You've done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. All right. Da 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 Alright, we made it. Perfect. The light of blessing, a crystal that glows with a light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. Lovely. May the light of blessing grant you the strength that you seek. Ah, delicious. Well, let's get the heck out of here. Because now that we opened up the shrines, we can go back to the Temple of Time and then, like, fully open up the map. And I beat that boss in the meantime, too. The game is unbelievable. Hey, Commonwealth, welcome! Welcome to the stream, Commonwealth. Love to see you here, buddy. I see you've restored power to that new arm of yours. Mm. The door to the Temple of Time should be open now. Great. I wonder if there's a quick way to get over there. Open the adventure log. Closed door. Because I'm assuming I probably can't fast travel yet. Maybe I can, I don't know. No? Yeah, we can't. Alright, so we have to go the other way around. Well, that is A-OK, -okay, because I'll just descend up here. Oh, wait, there's something over there, too. Oh, but I'm out of food! Is there food maybe over there? Uh... Uh-oh. See, I don't want to die after all that. I can't even really stoke a fire at this point. Oh, oh no, there's a flint. There's a flint. I can. I can. Give me, like, apples or something. Apples anything? Apples, please, sir? Nothing? Oh, one apple. Two apples. Okay. A flint. Hold this. Okay. Drop. Hit it. Oh my gosh, wait. Weapons. I just gotta cook these apples. I gotta bake these apples quick. I need to make some food. Come here. Oh no! I gotta hope and pray this works. Please, 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 please. Hit it. Please. There we go. Okay, good, 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 good. Hold, hold. Put some salt in there too. Throw as many ingredients as I can. Throw a blight, couple of these bright blooms in there. Add, back, cook. Come on. Give me something good where I can get my health back. Come on, anything. All right. Ooh, perfect. Simmered fruit. Lovely. Okay. Do I? Can I eat bomb flowers? Let's see this. If I make the bomb flowers with something, is it going to give me explosive flavor? Let's just see. Worth a shot! Uh, no, that did not work. Alright, dubious food. That's fine, though. It's still going to give me one health. One health is better than nothing. 
All right, let's see. Construct horn. All right, I don't really have anything else I can eat yet, but that's okay. I have enough health now to at least get through this area again. All right. Once I really need it, I'll just use the simmering fruit to send up here. Exit. Lovely. Ooh, that's probably something cool. Let's see. Nice, very good. Get a Zonai charge. Perfect, perfect. Open this baby up. Now you give it to me. Okay. Equip. Let me try ascending. Go through the top of this. Woo! All the way up. All the way up. All right. Exit. Uh, oh. Oh, I don't have a stone, though. Uh-oh. Okay. Where is there... Oh, no. There's one. There's one. There's one. Oops. Wrong thing. Sorry, buddy. Grab this. Yeah! -ha -ha. Perfect. Perfect. Got another Korok seed. Lovely. Now, can I drop down there without actually taking a lot of damage? That's my concern. I don't know. Well, I guess I could climb. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We're good. Okay, Temple of Time. Let's open this up. We are going that direction. I can literally see it. I'm assuming I can jump off the side. We have wings over here. We've got a little gotcha machine. We got something else over there. I'm going to grab these wings and see what I can do. Uh, ultra hand. Because I'm assuming if I set it here and then I put a fan on top of it, I'll probably be able to fly over there. Oh, did it attach both of these? Wait a minute. Oh, what? Oh. Okay, I don't I don't want that though. I think I only need one. Unstick that. There we go. There we go. Don't fall off though. Don't fall off. No, 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 no. Okay. Wait here. Maybe I don't even need a fan. Maybe I could just go. Let's hope. Oh, okay. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, look how nice this is. Gentle breeze. I have to expect like a moblin to come flying down a balloon or something and just smack me. <laughs> but that's nice. Now, I could have attached a fan here and maneuvered around and gone other places, but we're really just trying to get to the Temple of Time. I'm glad I don't really need a fan for this. Alright. Top on down. I guess I probably should jump off right here. Oh, <gasps> no! No! No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no! I wanted to jump out by the water! That's okay. It'll probably put me back to where we were. I should have attacked. You could steer it by standing on the sides. Oh, I didn't know that. That makes sense, though, I guess. Physics. All right. Ingredient effects. Okay, so we already got the Korok seed. That's not too bad. Climb back down here again. And now I know I don't really need anything. Okay, look. We're right here. I might as well attach this. Here we go. We're here. We've got a little cold resistance. Let's just ascend. Oh, I can't go up that way? Can I go up this way? Yeah, there we go. Up here. Ascend through. Exit. Ultra hand. Grab. Attach.
perfect. Make our way up here. See if there's anything over here for me to grab. Got the Zonai charge at least. Here we go. Rusty broadsword broke, that's okay. I got plenty of other weapons. Oh, wings! Okay! That'll be useful for the future. Very good, I'm glad I came up here. See, I don't want to utilize any of those yet. Also, how do you make wooden stick and stone? Okay. It's how you make an axe. Equip the spear. Get another zone I charge. Anything else over here? Might as well run around, let's see. No. Okay. Let's make our way back down. One here. One here. I'm not gonna get anything from the gotcha machine thing yet. Uh, why is there randomly like a wing over here? It's kind of strange. Okay. Line this up. Uh oh. Grab this. Here we go. Perfect. Perfect. And now I know I can steer it, go towards where the water is, and then jump off there, and then I won't die, and I'll be fine. All right. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, cool. There's something awesome about, like, surfing through the sky on this little thing. Now, if I go to the front, oh, yeah, good. It'll dive bomb. All right. Here we go. Perfect. Now, I'm not making the mistake I did last time. Goodbye, see you later, wing. Woohoo! Boom, right into the water. Perfect. All right, we made it. We're good. We are good. Get back on the lily pad. Get my stamina back. Run on over. Man, that was, like, really a fun tutorial. And I can't wait to see, like, a year from now what the speed runs are going to be like. Because you know there's going to be people who are going to find the right way to go around all of this. What order they should do it in. All right, here we go. Boom, off we go. Up here. Whoop. Make our way up here again. Make our way to the Temple of Time. <laughs> Dude, this game really rules. Alright. Uh, I got plenty of stuff for weapons. Let's see. I can't grab any of this yet, though. I should be okay. Alright. Temple of Time, are you ready for me? I hope so. Plus, I managed to beat that giant boss in the meantime, too. That construct thing. Ba -dum -bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -dum. Okay, the closed door complete. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. And now we're getting a tier? A tier of the kingdom? Perhaps, may chance. Let's see. Dude, this game really is exceeding all my expectations. Like when they first announced Fuse and Ultra Hand, I wasn't really sure how they were gonna stand up to Stasis and Freeze and the other stuff we have in the first game. Zelda, you're here. What's up? Look at my goofy spiky shield <laughs> sticking up the back. <laughs> oh man. Okay. What powers are we getting? My spear too. Look at that. It looks so goofy.
Okay, what's that gonna be? I'm assuming it's the last hand power, but... Not gonna say anything? Okay, Zelda. Thank you for that, regardless. See, I'm assuming we're getting to a point, now that I got those wings, where I can jump off the sky and safely glide down the high roll below. I bet I probably could have already done that. Maybe Rauru would have stopped me, or maybe I would have died, I don't know. Reverse an object's movement until it goes back to where it was. You can stop the reverse movement at any time. Okay! How we get back up to the sky, all right. Hmm. The ability to reverse the movement of an object through time. And Zelda has vanished as well. What you saw is a mystery even to me. Perhaps a sort of echo, one that reflects her sheer will. Hmm. You've no doubt been given this ability and it will prove important, okay. I, visually, I just, I love the design of everything, okay? Well, great. I mean, do I use it now? Like, what? Do I recall? Oh. Oh, wait. Oh! Okay, get up the gears. Hop up here. Oh, whoa, 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 Oops. Here we go. Rewind again. Whoop, let's go. Hop on up here. See, maybe I should wait to get on it until it's already there. Nope, not yet. There we go. Woo! All right. Perfect. Make our way up. Oh, we got a goddess statue, meaning I could probably get a heart now. Here we go. I won't just be at three hearts anymore. That'll be very, very nice. The goddess statue smiles upon you. Perfect. Let's pray. Do I have enough to get a heart yet? Maybe not. Okay. Well, let's find. Let's open the door. Both hands, come on. Push, okay. Oh, no, I still can't do it yet. Okay, wait a minute. You may not a weakened state. You're not strong enough to open it. There's one more shrine on the island, though, and there you can get another blessing. Oh, and then I'll be able to pray to the goddess statue and get my last heart. Okay. If you add that to the other blessings you received at shrines and offer them to the goddess, you might just find your way forward after all. Perfect. Mm. Let me see the pura pad. It's going to mark the last shrine. Ooh, nice. Use the travel function to reach that area quickly. You're going to find the last shrine around here somewhere. Okay. You got it. I'm healed too, which is nice. Okay. Use the pad. Go to the map. He said it's right around here. The Room of Awakening. Oh, I love having fast travel now. I can go wherever. I can explore more. Come back to the sky. Now, I'm, I'm wondering, can you fast travel to the sky from the ground if you've already unlocked an area on the sky? I'm betting you probably can. You see, Great Sky Island, and it's right over here, it seems like. Can I ascend up here? It's gonna lead me somewhere? No. Oh, I can. All right, where's this gonna take me? Exit. Can I keep going up? Ascend on out of here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Ascend. Up here. Happy Zelda Day, everyone. Thank you, Winston, for becoming a member. Nakama, appreciate that. Here we go. Exit. Perfect. 
All right, now, current location. We're going this way. Run on over. And see, I probably should fight these guys at this point. Because I'm running low on food. I have other birds and stuff over there, too, I can grab. But I, I really think I should hit them. Here we go, get some meat. There we go. Make some more steaks. Next time we get to a fire, we got some mushrooms as well. Okay. All right, let's see. Boom, open this up. We're good. We are good. Got a wing. Make our way down here. Okay, it should be right here. I'm not seeing a shrine, though. Unless it was on the lower level, maybe? I don't know. Uh, okay. Do I just hop off? I mean, that's obviously where we took off before. Maybe it's in there. looks like it's down and to the side. Oh, I think, is this it? Oh, yep, here we go, here we go. Oh, it's literally in here. Okay. Nacho yes, shrine? All right. I can go for some nachos right now, that sounds amazing. All right. Here we go. Roger, remember, if you pull the bowl while you're in the air, you'll go slow-mo. Unless that was only with the hang glider. No, I think that's the case. I think if you're jumping and you use the bow, you should be good to go. The ability to rewind. All right, so of course we have a recall. Here we go. Easy enough. The question is, can you recall while you're on something? It's like if I click this and click rewind. Oh, you can. Perfect. Man, I really, I just cannot get over what a good job they did with this. How it manages to improve in every single way. All right. There's another one. That'll go back up. Oh, that's neat. Whoop, let's go. That's awesome that it even follows the same pattern. Whee! Off we go. All right. Now the gears will take you up that way. I'm assuming there's something else over here. Because I want to get whatever that is. All right, let's see. You know, fun fact. I, I don't think I've ever told this story on stream before. Maybe not necessarily a fun fact either. But ever since I was a little kid, I've had a recurring nightmare of being crushed in gears. Like, it's, it's a nightmare of like, I was a little newsy kid, like in the 20s, like selling newspapers or something, and somehow I worked in a factory, and then I got caught between these two gears in a factory and it killed me. And I've had this exact same dream ever since I was a child. Like my parents can attest to this, I, I still have it occasionally to this day, and so I don't know if like in a past life I was a little newsboy who got caught between gears during the Industrial Revolution or something, I don't know. But I'm never gonna work in a factory, ever. Because I have a fear of getting crushed between gears because of that. All right, here we go. Boom. Make our way through here. Arrow, 10, perfect. And then obviously we still have to use this to open up that doorway. So let's do this. That explains why you never played Xeno Gears. <laughs> Which is weird because it's not that I have a fear of gears. Because I there's no situation in which I would work in a factory and get caught between gears in the year 2023. <laughs> I'm a grown man that runs a YouTube channel. There's no situation in which that's something that would happen. And yet, gears don't really bother me like Clink or Clank, the little gear Pokemon. I don't know. I like the aesthetic. I like steampunk stuff. All right, here we go. Making our way through here. Wait, what? Wait, can you use rewind on multiple things? 
Recall? Let's see, recall. And rewind. What is this gonna do? Or do I have to line it up with both? Oh! Wait, 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 there's something. Wait, 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 wait. Wrong thing, wrong thing. I have to get it where the two of them line up, right? Okay, let's see. Line up. There it is. There it is, there it is, there it is. Woo! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Perfect! All right, we made it. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. We're getting the last power of the arm, the last blessing. We'll get back through the Temple of Time. We'll get our extra heart. We'll push our way through. We're good. So then I'm wondering... Now there's got to be a way around it. Because you know how people will regularly do runs in Zelda games where they only have three hearts? I'm like, if it requires you to have more than three hearts to get through this area, are people just not going to do that? Are you going to do four heart runs or something? Brandon says, I'm so glad that you're enjoying the game, Roger. I'm six hours in and I absolutely love it. D dude, I am absolutely loving it as well. This is everything I could have possibly wanted in Breath of the Wild and more. All the puzzles have been fun. All these introduction areas have been cool. Fusing the different weapons, taking out the bosses. It's been a blast so far. All right. The Light of Blessing, a crystal that glows with the light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. You actually do one heart runs now. Wait, what? Oh, I guess... Yeah, once you get out of here, I guess you could then give up your hearts back at the Goddess Shrine, right? So I guess you could do that. Alright, here we go. Skip. Um, you could probably bring down the hearts just like you could do later on in Breath of the Wild. See, there you go. And Dave Dove said, you got that way faster than I did. What, the recall thing? Well, I just noticed when the, when the clock was turning, I figured they have to be at the same point. Recall it, and then it'll turn everything back around. Here we go. The Room of Awakening. What's this over here? My little steward buddy. A crystal refinery. I could take your crystal charges and produce energy wells. Well, get producing then, buddy. Oh, I need 100. Okay, hold on. All right, I will search the depths below. Thank you, by the way, to Roberto saying, it's crazy how people in the chat are talking about how somebody beat the game in 95 minutes. 95 minutes? Jeez. See, I feel like then you're not really enjoying it. Then you're just rushing your way through. I mean, if it just came out, you know, unless they had an early copy or something and they were playing it and then got through it, but... All right, here we go. Let's move this around. Place this right here. Let's get on the back of our little glider and let's go, go, go. That dungeon had some Skyrim vibes? Really? I haven't even seen anyone complete the tutorial in 95 minutes. Uh, but Victoria says it was specifically a speed run. Okay, so they were trying to do it then. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, what's over here? Wait, 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 wait. Glider, come here, come here, come here. Move back, come here. What is this? I want whatever this is. Come on down. Wait, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Turn. Turn. Come on, come on. And go. All right. Oh, it's gonna be close. No, 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 I was right there. No! I was right there. I could see it. I knew there was something there. Hold on. Can I, can I zoom from here? <sighs> we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. I lived. <laughs> Link said, nope. Clicked right out of there. Oh, that was a whoopsie. Okay. <laughs> that could have been so bad. But, all right. Fast travel saved the day. Fantastic. 
<laughs> Let's get out of here. Make our way back down again. All right, maybe I should start on the other side. Like, start right here. Ultra hand, move this guy over, rotate, horizontal, place it here. Here we go. All right, and it was right over there, I saw it. Right here. I kind of have to make a loop around it, though. All right. What is that down there, too? Hold on. All right, loop, loop, loop. Come on back. Turn, turn. Come on. Nose dive. Turn, 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 turn. No, oh my gosh, did I just do it again? I was so close. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked. I should have just gone right down. I'm gonna I'm gonna land in there. I'm going to. I'm gonna land in there. I'm gonna get whatever that is. I refuse to leave. I know I could go through the Temple of Time right now. I don't wanna do that. I'm definitely overshooting it. That's what I'm doing. Third time's the charm. Okay. Here we go. In fact, I'm gonna put well, my weapon's already put away, but I was like. I'm not going to risk it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Rotate a little bit. There we go. Make our way over there. All right, here we go. You can always dive, too. You can use R to skydive. Oh, true. Oh, you know what? You're right. Yeah, because I guess... Here, if I do this... Oh, yeah! There we go. Oh, man! I just missed it! The Koroks! You obviously... Oh, man. Oh, I guess I can climb up here and dive into it. All right, dash. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, because it's obviously this. You dash... Oh, no? Maybe you have to dive? Let's see. Was it, wasn't there like a button to dive before? See, maybe I have to do it from up there. Maybe it's just too small. Do I have a little wind thing? I guess I could make a wind thing. To push me up. Uh, let me see. No, climb down. Yeah, I think I need the elevation. All right, here we go. See, but now that I know that I can skydive, I can make that. Cause I could jump from a higher height and then just dive right in the middle, and then the little korok will pop out, and I'll be good to go. Yeah, just jump at the edge. That's a good call. Instead of actually using the wings, just jump at the edge. All right. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, I guess I never even really considered doing that. Here we go, make our way through. Oh, no, hold on, wait, let me get my stamina back before I do that. Because where is it? It's right over there, right? Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. So you're not going to make it from there. Well, while we're already here, let's see if there's another little circle or something I can land in. No, see, I think I need the wing. I need the wing to get me a little further over. All right, here we go. Yeah, let's get over here. Boom. I'm gonna make it. Cause I know if I dive right through it from there, I know it's gonna give me a Korok seed. And I'm I'm determined, I wanna get it. Yeah, you definitely need the wing to get closer. That's what I'm thinking. All right. Here we go. 
this game is so fun, man. All right, over here. Like, I don't even mind experimenting. It's just fun in general. All right, here we go. Get over here. Now I know where I can go. There we go. All right, I can make it from here. Yes, we did it! Woo! We got it, we got it! I know we can do it! Perfect! Korok Seed, we got it. We are good. Off the Temple of Time we go. Lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely. All right. Um, well, let's see. Well, actually, now that we're here, this is Ukto Shrine. Yeah, let's make our way over. Oh, man. <laughs> Plus, I have those other little wings in the capsules that I could probably use at some point. Oh, man. Here we go. Shadow said, if Ganon took your one true love, Obi, would you fight him to get him back through the Sky Islands, treacherous landscapes, and gloomy caves? Reagan and I would absolutely both fight Ganondorf for Obi. Definitely. No question about it. All right. Here we go. Make our way through here. And let's see. Climb on up. There's a little entry place. Look around and see if there are apples or mushrooms or anything at this point. Arrows. Okay, grab these. Whoops, didn't mean to chuck that. A little fire going over there. Okay. Oh, I forgot you could drown with the stamina. I forgot about that. <laughs> That's okay. Well, all right. I'm not going to lose too many hearts. That's all right. End up right back here again. Here we go. Boom. Perfect. All right. We made it. We are back. Climb back up here. Oh, I'll let my stamina come back first. All right, there we go, there we go, there we go. Run again. Wait. Okay. Boom. Boom. The Temple of Time. Ah, this is so good. I'm just really enjoying myself. All right, make our way back over again. Because I really do like how they throw you into the action in this one. Alright. Recall. There we go. Back over here. Oops, there we go. Yeah, it's like there really isn't any downtime. You're immediately into the first little kind of dungeon area. Whoop. Stop that. Recall again. Make our way over. Run on up. Uh-oh. Woo! All right. There we go. Got a statue. Perfect. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed the lights of blessing. In exchange for four lights, I will grant you power. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Yes, heart container, please. I will grant you the power that you seek. dun 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 dun, dun. One extra heart. A rare item that restores some of the life force that you lost to the gloom, increasing your maximum number of hearts by one. Boop. Boop. <laughs> All right. Beautiful. All right. Hold it down. We got this. All right. I'm feeling good. Because I'm assuming now this means we're going to be exploring the rest of Hyrule. If we got the doors open, we're probably going to dive through the sky. 
I'll get my horses back. Ah, good. I see you have managed to open the door. You haven't fully recovered yet, but that is to be expected. We're almost beyond saving. Almost! By visiting the shrines and receiving their blessings, you have mitigated some of the corruption's effects. Brilliant. Though our time together has been brief, I am so happy that we finally met. Where are you going, Rauru? God, the music is so good here. I've done everything I can for her. Now it is up to you. Okay. Thank you, Rauru. Thank you for your service, buddy. He'll be back. There'll be other Zelda games. Raul will be around again. So then, because I'm wondering if he... If, if Rauru is a Zonai, and the Zonai were the ones that fought in that great war all those years ago, like, essentially with their ancestors, right? Because at the very beginning when they're looking at the mural, I'm assuming that's referencing the very first imprisoning war, like from Skyward Sword. The very, very first one. Because, is that then who Rauru, like Zelda's dad in Skyward Sword, and Rauru, like the sage in Ocarina of Time, are they named after him? Is this like the first ever Rauru? The very, very first one from that first war? With the goddess Hylia and Demise and everything? That's kind of neat, if that's the case. If that's who we just met. All right, here we go. Making our way down. To the sky below. Oh man, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Woo! Let's dive! <laughs> I am ready for this. Oh, it's not letting me? Uh-oh. Here I was thinking I could just dive. I thought I just... I got through it. All right, I got to get up there. Wait, I have to ascend then. Can I ascend up here? Yeah, I can. I can. I can. Okay. <laughs> I wonder how many other people did that. <laughs> Just thought they could jump off from there. No, I got to ascend up. Okay, here we go. Exit. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, oh, okay. Just ascend over there too. Is there anything else over there? No. Ascend again. Okay, we're good. Exit out of there. Perfect. Alright, here we are. What are you going to give me? I just can't get over how huge the map is. This entire area that we just played through that still has lots more to explore. I know I missed Korok seeds and stuff there. That was all, like, three hours. Just that one little area. The tutorial of the game. I was just too hyped to get to Hyrule. All right, here we go, Link. Restore a little power to the Master Sword. Rewinding, getting a little bit of the Master Sword power back instead of one damage, just getting a two now. Wait, what? What? Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god, wait, 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 wait. Wait, are we gonna play as Zelda?
he like passing it through time or something? We're gonna play as both? Oh no, oh, oh. Oh, never mind. Okay. I was like, are they really gonna do it? Cause I haven't seen anything beyond the trailer. I thought maybe she was gonna show up. Wait, what? What is this? Clouds are open. Perfect. Link. The towers. Link, you must find me. Believe me, I will. It's the Legend of Zelda. Come on, Link is gonna find you. Don't worry about a thing. Yeah, so maybe it was that, like, we recalled the Master Sword through time then. All right, well, we're good. To the, <laughs> to the kingdom of Hyrule. Oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Where do we start? I'm trying to remember the map. From Hyrule Castle. I want to get to Luralin. All right, well, let's go. Let's get out of here. Dive. Oh, dude. Getting to explore this again. I'm on the lookout to see if there's like a little Korok seed thing that I can grab. Ooh, what's over there? We got the like, crop circles over there? Here, let's just land right here. Dive right in. Boom! We're home! Back in Hyrule. Okay. Feels good to be back. Alright, dash over here. We got a little fish. Wait, what was this? What was that? What was it? Hold on, let me... Get some more fish while I'm here. Grill it up, make some food. Hyrule bass. All right, perfect. All right, make our way over. Dang, well, where do I start then? Do I go to the towers? Do I go to the shrines? Everything's open to me now. I'm like, I don't know where to go. <laughs> do I go see Sidon again? Like, it's been a minute. All right, here we go. Let's dash. Cause I obviously, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. Oh, horses. I just heard the whistle. Dude, where do I even start? Where do I start? I feel like I should get the towers first. What is this? To the kingdom of Hyrule, okay. Oh, dude. Yeah, I feel like the towers are probably the way to go. All right, I'm gonna mark this one. I'm gonna scope. I'm gonna set this. The birds over there. Got a shrine over here. Here, you know what? We're right here anyway. We might as well do the shrine. We can get some goodies. We got our classic Moblins again and everything. Okay, Miss DBZ Babe. Let's go. Boom. I see her playing Tears of the Kingdom as well. Popping up in the corner. Whoa, get out of here. Come here. I remember you. See, but I have these new abilities now. You don't want to mess with me. Oh, no, I guess I can't. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come here, come here. There we go. Knock him over. Take out the moblin. We're fine. There we go. Climb on up. Climb on up. Come on. You got this, Link. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Eat myself a mushroom. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Here, I'll take this guy out first. Whoa, get out of there! Oh my gosh! Oh, right there! 
I was trying to jump over his sword and then grab his thing. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. I guess I could have sneaked and attacked him, but it was more fun to run head on. <laughs> Dude, I just... Exploring the world is just so fun. I cannot get over it. Man. Now, are the shrines that I marked already on my map still? They are. Okay, perfect. Uh-oh. There we go. Backflip. Perfect. Here we go. Woo! There we go. One, two, three. Woo! Dodge out of there. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I don't want to die just yet. Hold on. Come on. Whoa! Oh my gosh! I keep pressing the wrong button. I keep forgetting. I'm trying to dash with Y instead of with X. We're getting there. We're good. <laughs> I'm being a goofball. There's just too much to do and so much I want to explore. And I'm getting sidetracked looking at other things. But I know fighting them is going to be worth it to me. So we'll take them out. Here we go. This is actually good to get used to the combat again against things that aren't just Zonai creatures. Dodge, dodge. There we go. Flurry rush. That's what I was trying to do earlier. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right. Get a new shield. I can't carry any more shields. Uh-oh. Moblin horn, moblin fang. All good stuff. Here we go. I'm going to light this stuff on fire. Let's see what's inside. Or do I not have any fire things left? I'll just attach a bomb to it. There we go. <laughs> see if there's anything worthwhile over here. For the shield, I definitely think that shield will be useful. Old wooden shield, rusty shield. Take this, traveler shield. Got a baked apple, perfect, because I set everything on fire. There's a well down there? Okay. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa! Okay. A cobbling arm, oh, good. Good, this'll be useful. Okay, this'll be very useful. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Boom, boom. Got a traveler's spear. Okay, another bacoblin arm. Boom. Traveler's claymore. Lots of good stuff in here. All right, great. Get some horns. Get some other materials. Bacoblin fang. Got some other fish over here, too. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't even see this one. Hold on. Get out of here. Come here. Knock him over. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, he's just gonna drown in there? Alright, perfect. Great. Glowing cave fish. Excellent. Moblin horn. Beautiful. Get another bacoblin arm. A moblin arm? Oh, that seems good. We got lots of good, lots of good weapons. Got some stuff to grab over here, too. What are these little bright blooms? Bright bloom seeds. Perfect. Okay. Break this. Also, there's like a treasure chest over here. Let's take this out. Nope, I don't want to ascend just yet. Yeah, take this out. Grab this. Boom. What's this going to be? Oh, good. Let's just chuck out the stick then. Drop that. Perfect. Very, very good. I like how I was just wondering, how am I going to get out of here? And then I realized, oh, right, ascend. Also, what are these little guys up here? Sticky lizards. Suction of its toes allows the lizard to easily cling to walls. An asset for a climber on wet surfaces. Oh, 
that'll get me off the ice walls. All right, I should probably grab the other ones, though, unfortunately. Oh, hold on, there's a bomb thing here. Here, let's just break some of this. Perfect, get some rock salt. Get a bomb flower, great. I want to get another one of those little sticky lizards. Oh, did he drop over there or did he drop over here? Oh, I think I accidentally drowned him. That's not good. Come on, Link. You got this. Got some opal. Perfect. All right, let's get out of here. I got everything now. Ascend. Go on up. Ah, this game rules. I just, I love it. I love it. All right. Now, where are we going? I really want to reach that tower. Well, hold on. There's a quest marker over here. Let's go over to the quest marker, maybe. And then we'll go up the tower. But I'm glad I went there. I got some good stuff. The Bacoblin arms and the Moblin arms. They're not going to last me a long time. But I think they're going to be useful for the time being. Here we go. Make our way up. Hear the music again. By the way, Roger, you don't have to shoot the materials with your arrows. You could throw them with your hands. That's true. I could do that. All right, so I'm assuming I have to get to the other side. Thankfully, there's lily pads everywhere, so it shouldn't be too hard. Climb your way up. Boost your stamina. There's another lily pad over here. Three, four. Climb on up. All right, perfect. One, two, three, four. Can I make it? Might be kind of, kind of close, but we did. This game just rolls, man. Like I can't believe I'm actually playing a sequel to Breath of the Wild right now. All right. Let's go on over. Be on the lookout for Korok seeds and things. Get some of the materials. More of these fire fruits. That's good. Those are useful. Dazzle fruit. Dazzling sparks that blind enemies. I'm assuming those are for light arrows, maybe? More fire fruits. Ooh, what's down there? There's all kinds of stuff. What is this? Hyrule Restoration Materials. Oh! Also, hello? Who are you? Get out of here! Boom! There we are! Claymore broke, but I got lots of apples from this. Perfect. Bacoblin Horn. Lovely. Oh, you know what I should do? This is probably going to do a ton of damage. Fuse. With the Moblin Arm. Oh, it only did one? Let's see. A boomerang. Got boars over here. And deer. Well, let's see on the map. So, like, right towards the middle. Perfect. Old bow is broken, but that's fine. We got some raw prime meat. Ah, Tekking's playing Tears of the Kingdom now, too. Perfect. All right, pick this up. Thank you, by the way, to Rotem for becoming a member. Appreciate that. Nakama, thank you. All right, let's equip this bow. I got to get more arrows, too. All right, here we go. Come here. Perfect. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Boko shield. Climb up here. Boom! 
Sundalion. All right. I'm sure there's other arrows over here, too. I got a Boko Bow. More arrows. Bacoblin Horn. Lovely. So look how pretty this is, man. Man, oh man, oh man. Boko Shield. All right. I got to get rid of something. Spiky Shield. You know what? Let's drop this. Pick this one up. Perfect. Let's eat some food real quick. Some simmered fruit. We got lots of other materials for food. I don't gotta worry about that. Alright, let's make our way over here. Oh, there's the little bunnies? Hold on a minute. No, 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 don't run away! Ah, oh, man! Oh, is there a cave over there? Alright, let me put this away for the time being. Grab some more fire fruits. Is he like, what? What's in here? Discovery. Ranch Ruins Cave. Whoa, hello? Uh-oh. How do I get him down? Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, there we go. That worked. Rock Sledge and a Horriblin Horn? Horriblin? Okay, those are new. Oh, there's something in there, too. What's this? What is this? Bright caps. Cook it in any dish to give a glowing effect to anyone who eats it. Oh, okay. That seems like it'll be useful for dark caves, then. Traveler's bow. Bright bloom seeds. Why is this game so good, man? I just, I cannot get over how good it is. Alright. Climb on down. Let's crouch again. Anything else down here I might be able to grab? More bright bloom stuff and bright caps. Can I ascend up here? Probably. Whee! Exit. Good. Get lots of materials. Fantastic. Can I ascend again? Yep, sure can. Okay, perfect. And that'll get me back up to the top. Exit. All right. Oh, there's another shrine over there, too. Oh, is that like... Oh, there's a tower there, too? All kinds of stuff I should do. Uh, hold on. Let me go to the map. Oh, this seems cool. Wait, scope. And that tower we're going to anyway, so. Alright. Who's over here? We got some more fire fruits, sticky peppers. How many arrows do I have? Let's see. Can I. Nope, nope, nope. Didn't want. Didn't want that. Fire fruit, fire fruit, fire fruit. I know I have them. There we go. I just wanted to burn the field. There we go. Burn these guys up. Perfect. Fuse. Perfect. Get over here. Come on. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Hold on. I gotta be careful. Baked apple. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Uh-oh. Whoa! I did the wrong thing. What? Whoa! Okay, rock sledge broke. That's not good. Equip. Actually, you know what? No, let's equip this. Because it's damaged anyway. 
There we go, there we go, there we go. Get out of here! Oh, 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 careful, 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 careful. There we go, there we go, there we go. Perfect! Let's go, Flurry Rush! Oh, I don't have any. Oh, no, because it broke. There we go, there we go, there we go, come on! A little more. Pick this up, get the stone axe. Excellent, excellent, excellent. A coblin horn and fang. Got a Hyrule herb, that's gonna be good for healing. Look at all these goodies over here. Ah, Krista's playing Tears of the Kingdom too. Everybody's playing Tears of the Kingdom. Bacoblin Horn, Fuse Attack Power. A large fang dropped by a boss Bacoblin. Increase attack. Ooh, okay. We got some more of these fire things over here. I see another shrine over there in the distance too. How many more of these can I place? I have one more. I'll place that one there. Gosh, this game is fun. All right. Um, let's go this direction. Let's go to the tower. I got all twisted around when I was fighting those guys. All right. I could fuse something to this, too, when I get a chance. Fuse. Traveler's Spear. Perfect. Or I guess what I could do. Wait a minute. Instead of doing that. Wooden stick, equip. And let's fuse. Ah, you know what? No, don't worry about it. We're fine. Make our way into here. Get this tower. Oh, this is like a little town. Oh, the tower's in the town? Link? It's you, you're back. Where have you been? Aww. Last anyone saw of either you or Princess Zelda was when you went to go investigate the gloom. Then the castle rose into the sky and everyone's been so worried about what happened to you both. Pura nearly wore herself out trying to figure out where you two went. Pura's working in the large building over there. Alright, we'll go on over and go see Pura. Uh. Report to her right away. She's going to want to know you're alright. You got it. Look out landing. Okay. Can I climb this tower first, though? Let's see. But can I go in here? I should be able to. Yes, perfect. Perfect! Oh, wait, I can't go up here? Uh, maybe, hold on. Maybe Purr is gonna give me something. Here we go. The dock looks busy. Oh, man, we got all the squad! <laughs> Joshua, the hair of those eyes? Doc! Oh. Dr. Pura? The swordsman! The swordsman's returned! All right! Pura's here! <laughs> and I like that she's now, back to normal been? now, too. This is cool. Linky, you're not Linky? a ghost, are you? Hey. Is that the same voice that actor from Hyrule Warriors, too? Phew. One step at a time. Hello again, Pura! What exactly happened? Look, I don't know. Pura, head of Lookout Landing. I like the music that's playing here, too. Yo, Hollow just said, Roger, stop it in to say, hey, I just got my collector's edition delivered, so I'm going to start it up now. What do you think so far? We have absolutely, positively so loved it so far. Go beneath Hyrule Castle. You discover a mysterious mummy. Ganondorf. Which suddenly reanimates. Yup. Then I lost all my hearts, I lost all my power, I was in the then sky. Zelda falls into a fissure. Yup. Vanishes. She did. That must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. Bum 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 bum. Then later you wake up on a sky island. Yep. Saved by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. Ravru's arm, you got it. Yep. 
You get the Pura pad from an unusual creature. Yup, the little Zonai guy. And learn that your new arm belonged to someone named Rob. That's right. The Master Sword disappears. That's right. I think Zelda's got it now. You hear the princess's voice and find your way here. Correct. That's everything. <laughs> By the way, Roger, the uh, actress for Pura is the voice actress that plays Sakura in Naruto. Really? See, we didn't watch the dub. We watched the Japanese version. So I have no idea what Sakura sounds like in the uh, English dub. That's so funny, though. Wow. To be a Naruto and Zelda. Man, dream come true right there, huh? What? Then you're saying you came from up there? I sure did. <laughs> this Rauru you met. I think that was the first king of Hyrule. Hmm. Are they one and the same? So much of this doesn't make sense yet. Well, I don't know if they are one and the same. Because wouldn't the first king of Hyrule be Zelda's dad? Like from Skyward Sword, the guy who ran the academy? I'm certain that the mummy you found under the castle must be related to the upheaval. Hmm. The castle rising up and the ruins falling down from the sky. The mummy must be connected to it somehow. And then there's the most important detail of all. You're sure that you heard the princess speak to you? And again, maybe... See, maybe the Rauru who was Zelda's dad in Skyward Sword was named after the Rauru that we met up there from the Imprisoning War. She gave you a clear message to find her. Well, if that truly was the princess, that means she's alive. Maybe she's trapped beneath the castle and needs your help. Mm -hmm. Then I know you just returned, but you need to meet up with the search party by Hyrule Castle. They've been searching tirelessly. The captain in charge is Haas. Work with him to find the princess as quickly as you can. I love that her assistant is just mind blown by the fact that we are here right now. Yes. I know that the mummy may still be lurking around somewhere around here, which is concerning to say the least, but we have more immediate problems to deal with right now. I'm counting on you, Linky. <laughs> All right, we're back. Pura, the head of Lookout Landing. Oh, I love her artwork too. The highest authority on technology. She's used herself as a test subject in her experiments, and despite being over a century in age, she reversed her aging to the extreme and actually looked like a child until not too long ago. That's right, but now she's sort of back to normal. Okay. The Kingdom of Hyrule complete. Perfect. All right, Crisis at Hyrule Castle. Well, let's see. Is there something else up there that I can grab? I feel like there might be good materials over here at the top of Lookout Landing. Like, hold on, is there a treasure chest over here? What is this? Hello? What is this? Okay. Let's come over here. Mackerel just said, just finished cooking. Uh, there's a picture on Discord, and now it's time for Zelda. All right. The search party? Where are we looking? The castle... Got a shrine over there. Okay. Look through that. Climb my way back down. Jump on off. Whoop! I was trying to jump. There we go, there we go, there we go. Alright. Roll again. See, I really want to go explore those shrines, though. I feel like I could make a beeline for the main quest stuff, but I really do want to just explore the shrines. I rule Castle Town Ruins. Even Pura is stumped. Alright, let's see though. Hold on. Hey, Lee's playing Zelda now too. Everybody's playing Zelda. Alright, and this one's already marked, so I might as well do that shrine while we're here. Got the Castle Town Ruins. What's this? A farming hoe. You can't carry any more melee weapons. Well, I want a hoe, so hold on. Let me get rid of this. Uh, drop the. Actually, no. I need the wooden stick to make another axe later, because those are useful for materials. And this axe is already almost broken. There we go. Oh no! I didn't want to fuse. I just wanted to grab it. There we go. Nope, nope, nope. Don't want to fuse. There we are. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's kind of slow though, unfortunately. Let's see, can I fuse the arm to it? 
A goblin horn. Here we go. Plus four. All right, that's going to do a pretty good amount then. Boom. Get up a goblin arm, which I can't right now. Drop. Get the arm. Perfect. All right, we're making our way to the shrine. Let's see. All right, we got a little glow thingy over here. Oh, Silent Princess! Little, wait, what is this? Examine. I dedicate this monument to the memory of the souls lost with the calamity. Oh, that's kind of nice. She put the Silent Princess there from the end of the first game. Made a little grave for them. That was nice. Okay, now we're in the Castle Town area. Central Square. Oh, I hear it. I hear my headphones going doo 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 doo. So I probably don't have much more time right now. I probably got maybe like, how long have we been streaming? Three hours, 40 minutes? Let me do this shrine at the very least. Kiona's Shrine. All right. Wonderful. Let's make our way in here. Meanwhile, McDareth's playing Smash Brothers. Get back on Zelda, McDareth! <laughs> All right. Make our way into here. What is this? Combat training in the Kiona Shrine. Oh, we're probably okay. We got plenty of stuff for this. I'm not too worried right now. This is probably going to give us a good weapon, too. All right. Combat training. One of these guys. He's got a bow and he's got a sword. The shrine purifies the ancient evil. You have entered. And heed my instruction. Okay. Use a side hop to avoid enemy attacks. It'll create an opening that you can use to strike back. True? I can definitely do that. Come over here. Flurry rush! Here we go! Boom! Boom! There we go. Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening to strike back. I can do that already, too. I've already been doing flurry rushes. I'm good. Let's go. There we go. Flurry rush again. Boom, 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 boom. All right. You can repel an attack if you parry with your shield at just the right time. Strike back to create the opening. You got it. Ready, shield, and parry. Uh-oh, hold on. Wait, put this away. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. Shield, here we go. Uh-oh. Hold on, I gotta get the timing down again. Hold on. Nope, almost, almost. Almost. I'm still doing it too soon. There we go, almost. One more. There we go! Perfect. Build up your power and then release it for a charge attack. Catch your enemies in this motion to damage them. You got it! Charge attack, press and hold, and then release. Perfect! Take the bow. Lovely! Gave us a little bit of a tutorial as we were doing that. Your mastery of the techniques has earned you access. Proceed within. Perfect. By the way, I got my email saying the Obi plushes have now shipped. Who else has gotten their email? Oh, fantastic! All right, you guys are going to start getting your Obi plushes soon then. I like to hear that. Let's see. Let me drop my old wooden bow. Get one of these instead, the construct bow. Make our way through. Get a blessing. What's in here? Let's see. What's this? A Zonai sword. It resonates with attached Zonai devices to slightly increase power. Ooh, okay. Is there other Zonai stuff over here? Just a broadsword and a bow. Then a shield and a broadsword. Okay. So I'll wait until I find another Zonai thing. Let's see, make our way through again. Here we go. Perfect. Open up the shrine. Visitor to the Shrine of Light. That which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. Give me that blessing, please. Boop. 
Because how many? We need four in order to get a new heart, right? I've already seen four different shrines in the map as we were walking all over here. So I was like, <laughs> I know plenty of places where I can go and look. And then there's Korok seeds all over. I haven't even done the underground yet. There's so much to do still. And so much to explore. Like I said, I, I really don't know like where else to go. All right, here we go. Let me look on the map. I might as well go meet up with them up here and see what they're up to before I continue. All right. Got some gloom over here. Open up the gates. Can I open this? Oh, I guess not. Can I walk around? Probably. <laughs> what is that supposed to keep out? Nothing. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Right over here. Make our way over. Bum, bum. Ba -na -na -da 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 -da. There must be further up ahead then. Because I don't think I can climb all the way up there yet. I don't have enough stamina for that. Oh, here we go. Here's the guards. Oh? Link! It can't be. I can't allow anyone past ah. here. It's restricted to those who are involved in the search for Princess Zelda. If you insist on passing, you'll need permission from the captain. We'll be in the first gatehouse up at the end of the road. Alright, you got it. Let's make our way up there. Oh, you could have used Ultra Hand on that gate? Oh! I didn't even think about that. Of course I could have used Ultra Hand to open it up. Alright, here we go. This isn't Haas, is it? Just Yutus? Alright. Anything in here that I can use? No? Traveler Shield, I can take one of those. Flame Emitter Shield. See, that's pretty useful though, I don't want to get rid of that. Drop this. Get the Traveler Shield. Make our way up here. Bum ba da 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 da. It really is cool seeing this and getting to like explore all around Hyrule Castle. Is that Haas? Got some other weapons? Soldier Spear, Quicker Charge Attacks, and Soldier's Broadsword. Okay, that seems pretty good. I could drop one of these then. Here, I'll drop the Rock Hammer and grab the Broadsword. Is this Haas? Purpin? I'll leave you to it. All right. I could strengthen those. What's this? A torch? Probably useful for later on. Okay, where the heck is Haas? What is this? Soup ladle. Here, I'll just do this. Oh no, I guess I can't do that. Well then where the heck? I don't see him anywhere. Maybe he's up there? Maybe I can ascend up here? Hold on. Is it gonna let me? It should. Let's see. Ascend, nope. Okay, it's not letting me ascend. Uh, there's got to be a way up there. Here, I'm just going to climb around the outside. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Now I should be able to ascend. Right? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. All right. Excellent. That works. Now I could still go further up. I'm assuming this is Haas. 
I'm in the middle of something. Oh, here we go. Perfect. It's me, Link. Huh? Link, is that you? You're alive and in one piece. It looks like. Yeah, 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 one piece, yeah, 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 one piece, yeah, 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 one piece, oh, 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 one piece, all right, yes, Zelda's safe, well, I actually, I don't know, she's in some other dimension with my master sword, so I actually don't know where she is, you're alone, but you heard the princess calling out to you, and you're here to search with the help, uh, I don't know, I'm a little confused, but it doesn't matter right now. What matters is continuing our search for Princess Zelda. We needed some good news. The sheer amount of gloom has gotten overwhelming. Our work carries on, but we've been a bit dead in the water. Oh. Captain, it's Zelda! Oh yeah, what the heck? Hmm? So Zelda's safe already, we're good! Oh, maybe not. Okay. What the heck are you up to? She's going into the sky. Leading us to where we need to go. You saw that too, Link, right? You saw Zelda turn into light and then fly off. That should be her new recovery in the next Smash Brothers. Instead of the teleport, she should just fly up with a little beam of light. How strange. This is an emergency situation. Why would she leave without saying a word to us? We need to let Pura know about this as soon as possible. I think it makes sense for us to withdraw, but it'll take a bit. Tell Pura about what happened as soon as possible. You got it. Will do. Before we do that, though, I want to ascend a little more and see if there's anything up here that I can grab, because I feel like there probably is. Can I go up here? No, maybe not. Ah, there we go. I knew I could. All right, perfect. Anything up here that's useful? Anything at all? Oh, hold on, I gotta wait and get my stamina back for a second. Hold on. One, two, three. Perfect. Yep, there's definitely something up there. There's a Korok. Two. Here we go. Uh oh. Here, I'll get it all back. Look at this. Just look at all over Hyrule, man. Oh no! Oh no, and now it's raining. It's going to be difficult to hang on. Oh no, 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 no. Hold on, do I have any of those sticky thingies? The sticky guy, right? Oh, I have to mix it with something, though. Man, right as I was coming up here, too. Aw, oh, man! Alright, at least I know that there's a Korok here. So I'm gonna go on my map. Zoom all the way in. Sky... Make a stamp, there's a Korok seed right here. Remember this. Alright. We'll come back when it's not raining. Zoom back around to look out landing. Or I guess, yeah, come over here by the shrine. Perfect. Man, oh man, oh man. This has just been such a joy. And honestly, thank you again to everybody who's been tuning into the stream and watching, playing alongside me all day. It's fantastic. Will this VOD be saved? Of course the VOD's going to be saved, naturally. It's the first ever stream of Tears of the Kingdom. Naturally, I know people want to see this. Of course. There's actually a lot of really good moments in this, too. I'm probably going to turn into shorts a little bit later on as well. Alright, we're going back to Pura. Lovely. Oh, 
I wonder if there's a way I can actually get in there, too. Probably. Can I go through that window? No? Oh, I can. Okay, wait a minute. I'm glad I went in. Maybe something up there that I can grab? Uh-oh. Maybe the only way to get up there is to ascend? From the bottom? Now let's see. Ascend all the way up. Here we go. Exit. Alright, perfect. Nothing up here? Okay, it was worth a try at least. Alright, let's go back to the village. Wee! Well, there's something over there too. What's this? Can I climb up there? Is there a different entrance? No. Here, I'll just I'll do this. Ascend. Man, ascend is so useful. Alright, exit. What's this gonna be? A Zonai charge or something? A crystal refinery. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, I, I need a lot more. But it's good to know that there's one here. Is there anything at the very top? Nope, nothing there. Okay. Make our way back down again. Got a tree branch. I don't necessarily need that. Pose. Oh, okay. Like collecting ghosts and stuff like Ocarina. Oh! Robbie's here! The head of the Pearl Pad Development. What's up, Robbie? So that's the arm. I overheard Pura talking about it. It's pretty weird, all right. Now's not the time for distractions, though. That's got to wait until later. I hear you have the Pura pad. It can get a lot more powerful. I have big plans for the device, but I need to help Josha with her investigations into the depths. And then I'll head back to the lab in Hateno Village to resume my research. When I'm able to finish up there, you should join me. You got it. Nice to see you again, Robbie. All right, so I'm assuming I have to go talk to Pura then. Let's go back on over. Hold on. Oh no, I, never mind, I can't do that. I'm not gonna... Yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay. Back to Pura. Did you find anything? I sure did. What? You're telling me Zelda was at the castle and then she transformed into light and flew off? Your stories are always so wild, but if that's what you're telling me, then I gotta believe it. Hmm. Sounds like we need to change our approach. Since the princess flew off, we might need to redirect our efforts and dig into the upheaval. For now, at least. I've already got a few regions in mind to start exploring. And I bet we'll pick up clues where she flew off to as we look around. And you've still got the pearl pad, right? Can I see it for a sec? Here you go! Upgrade it, please! Seems to be functioning fine. Map, map, map. I forgot that before we can look at your overall map of Hyrule, we need to add map data from right around Lookout Landing... And for that, we need the Skyview Tower. Mm -hmm. I'm, sh I'm assuming they're going to upgrade my pad so that I can activate the other towers. The structure's complete, but... Gosh, this... Really, the vibe is immaculate in Breath of the Wild. It's got such a... Like, I, I don't know the, the right way to describe this, but there is a certain feel two, like, 80s and 90s Ghibli movies. Like, the the nature aesthetic and the, the, the music that plays in the background, the instruments. It's like they took that feeling of something like Laputa or Mononoke and they infused it with Zelda to make the first Breath of the Wild. And then, now that, you know, Breath of the Wild's already been out for a long time and I talked about how nostalgic I was for Breath of the Wild, it's like layers of nostalgia getting into Tears of the Kingdom. It's just, it's perfect. It really is perfect. This, they did such a good job with this. All right. The travel point is undergoing final adjustments. So let's see. Hmm. It needs tweaking. It sounds like I better get cracking. Hmm. 
Sorry, Linky. I'll fix it up quick. Just hang tight. In the meantime, why don't you rest up? The emergency shelter is just the spot for you. Free beds and a kitchen, so it's well stocked for getting some rest and rejuvenating yourself. Perfect. Alright, go talk to the soldier who's watching over everything from the center. That's where the emergency shelter entrance is. And if you need clothing, which I do, go to Mub's shop. Okay. I'll be over by Skyview Tower when you're ready to head out. Perfect. Yeah. Check it. Joshua, you're in charge of the switch. Okay, cute. You can count on me, Doc. <laughs> God, this it's just it's so good. I, I need some clothes though first. Wait. Let's go get some clothes. Let's see what other outfits you got. Let's see, what do you got? Hylian tunic. Oh, I don't have any rupees. Hylian hood, the classic hood. Let's see, can I sell stuff to you? What's up, mubs? I have a nice selection of goods. Buy my stuff, please. All right, I don't need this. It'll be 15, take it. Then let's see. What's gonna net me a lot? No, I want the horn. Uh, you could take all of these, honestly. All the moblin fangs. I know I'll get more later. And then... Hylian Hood is 70. So 70, 130. And the trousers. I really do like that outfit, so I think I'm going to do this. I am going to... I'm going to keep this. That's obviously useful. I'm going to get rid of the archaic tunic. Oh. Buy my stuff again. Ah. All right. Sell this. 15. Ah. And then let's see what else we got. Boss Bacoblin Fang. Sell two of these for 30. Now I have enough for the hood. I want enough for the hood and the top. And then I'll be good. Amber, good for crafting. Like, like stone, good for elixirs. Now I'll sell it for now. I'll get another one. Sell two of these. That's 130. Okay, perfect. Give me that tunic. Yes! Perfect! Alright, equip this. Lovely. Then I want the hood, too. Alright, buy my stuff. I'm gonna sell... Is there 15 each, really? I'll sell them all. 30... Goblin Fang, I'll sell them all. That's another 40. I'll sell some fish. Here we go. I'm about to get more food anyway. I got five of these, so we'll sell all of these for another 40. Okay. Only a few more. I'm going to keep the cave fish. I feel like that'll be useful. I'll sell six of these. That'll give me 18. Great. We're good. We're good. Perfect. I don't need anything else. Give me the hood. All right, we're good now. Good, 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 good. I'm ready to explore more now. All right, perfect. Put that on. Excellent. All right. And now that we did that, I could talk to him, go to the emergency shelter, you know, get a nice warm bed, get some food, relax. All right, open the emergency shelter. Lovely. Now I'll rest, I'll make some more food, I can cook a little. I have all those steaks, I can make some more ingredients. Mix some more ingredients, I should say. Perfect. God, there's just like so much to do at every angle, I don't know where to go. It's so fun. Ah. Okay, perfect. The underground vault used to be an emergency shelter. Now we're making constant use of it. Feel free to make yourself at home. Alright, perfect. And take any equipment you want? Is that what they just said? Ooh! 
Healthy cooking, okay. Not bad. Oh, we got a lot of stuff down here. Boko Reaper. Okay. Traveler's sword. I don't need that right now. Well, let's see what else you guys got over here. You got a bed. I can sleep. I sleep until noon. Get all my health back. Then I'll go cook some stuff. This stream has been so amazing to play along with. Thank you, Roger. You got it, dude. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate it. I can't believe we've been going for four hours. Wow. That just flew. All right. I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to cook some stuff first. Well, actually, unless you're going to give me something. Oh. Bermano. I'm a newcomer, too. My name is Bermano, and they put me in charge of cooking for a reason. I want to say something fancy like today we have a fruit and mushroom mix that will rev you right up. Uh. I was looking forward to saying that, but I'm out of apples. Thankfully, I think I have some. Uh. Yup. Take it. Uh. Wow, you're generous. I'm giving you the fir cra first crack at some grub. Hold on a sec. bum ba bum ba bum ba bum All right. What are you giving me? A baked apple? <laughs> I'm calling it Bermano Special Fruit and Mushroom Mix. Looks good. <laughs> I'd like to make a big deal out of it, but anyone can make it. All you need is an apple, a mushroom, and a pot. Try making some sometime. You know what? Oh, I'm not going to sit by the fire, but I am going to cook. Well, get off of there. I didn't mean to burn myself. All right. Here's what I'm going to cook. I am going to cook... Uh, oh, that's if it's mixed into an elixir. What was the other thing good for elixirs? The chew jelly? Applying it. A bit of elemental stimulation will change the form. Okay. You know what? I think I'm going to make... Let's make steaks. Don't we have, like, prime ribs or so? Or did I sell them all? I think I might have sold them all. Okay, well, let's cook the fish. Let's throw an herb in there. And maybe a spicy pepper, too. And some salt. All right. Boom. Cook that baby up. It's going to be something good. Salt, fish, and herbs. You can't go wrong with that. And peppers. I'm sure that's going to be something delicious. Look at that. Salt grilled fish. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Let me see what else I got. Bright blooms. Let's just hold a bunch of these and see what it makes. Cook them. That'd be nice if it could allow me to glow. Oh, that didn't do very much at all. All right, well, you know what? I'm done cooking for the time being. Let's get out of here. I'm all healed up. Let's go talk to Pura again so she can upgrade that tower. All right, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling nice and refreshed. I got new equipment. I've got food. All right, Pura. If I put this here and that goes there, mm, that's not quite it. Okay, that should do it. You all set? I just wrapped here myself. The travel point's working fine now, or at least it will be once you do your part. Okay. Hey. We're ready, Joshua. Pull the switch. She's cool. I like her. She's going to turn on all the towers. I love like the Wind Waker S smoke effect coming off of it too. Here we go. Activating the towers again. See, this was super important for opening up the map. We needed to do this. All right. Lovely. Oh. All of the Skyview towers have now been activated. Perfect. Yeah. All right, Link, your turn. Now you gotta put the pal pad there, of course. Examine this. 
I'm curious what dungeon I'm gonna go to first. I kind of, I want to make my way over to the Zoras, because I feel like it'll be cool to see Sidon again after all this time. Stealth is playing too, look at that. All right, huh. Skyview Tower is now active on your map. Perfect. That means you can now use this travel point to get here instantly. Same is true for every Skyview Tower uh, you add to your Pura Pad. <laughs> Impressive, right? Mm -hmm. But they're about more than just traveling quickly. Their primary function is to survey the area, or to simply put, make a map. It works with the Skyview Tower and scans the topography directly onto the map. Lovely. Uh -huh. Pretty great, right? Mm. Only thing is you need a paraglider when you're scanning. It takes a lot of skill and nobody here has what it takes. And to be honest, that's why we haven't tested this out yet. We needed you. Which brings us to this. Paraglider's back! Perfect! The item given to you by Pearl lets you ride the wind and glide through the sky. Activate it midair. Perfect! Showtime. Let's start with a test scan. All right, let's do it. Step over there and find me afterwards. I'll be observing from the research lab. All right, perfect. Perfect. Best of luck. And I'm sure the places the upheaval is affected the most are probably where the dungeons are going to be. Dr. Octopus, what is this? What? Taking my switch and everything? To oh, no, he's just plugging it in. <laughs> That's cute. Here we go. Woohoo! Up we go. Oof. That saxophone. Wow, 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 wow. Look at this. Oh, I love this. And he's scanning the whole thing. I love that this is how you actually make the map now. Is you physically have to launch your way up there. And then scan everything with your switch. This is cool. Look out landing. All right. Surface map updated. There we go. Boop. And sky map updated. Okay. Make our way back down. This is so cool. Dude, look at the castle from here. Wow. Gorgeous. All right, we're gonna glide on down safely. A little more. Perfect. Over here. Uh -huh. Welcome back. That was good gliding, Link. I expected nothing less. So how'd it go? Did you get a proper map scan? I sure did. The map is crucial to our search. There are Skyview Towers in every region of the world, and you're going to want to make a point of visiting them all. Yes. Now, let's talk about the upheaval. It's affected more than just the castle. Reports of other strange phenomena have been coming in from all over Hyrule. So let's take a look at your map. Okay. The first report comes from Hebra in the northwest. Then Eldon to the northeast. Oh, there goes my, there goes my headphone. I hear it. The Gerudo are reporting trouble in the southwest and Le Nehru to the east. They're all concentrated in these four regions. I can't say for certain, but I have the nagging suspicion that we might find out more about Zelda by looking into the phenomena. Uh, Doc, I don't know if this is helpful, but I heard something weird the other day. It was about someone who might have seen Zelda at Rito Village over in Hebra recently. That is pretty weird. Uh, yeah, generally speaking, I don't put too much stock in hearsay. But this does sound like it's worth looking into. All right. Before I forget, Link, we've asked the Lucky Clover Gazette to help us in search of Princess Zelda. Nobody knows more about the going-ons in Hyrule than them. You can find them near the entrance to Rito Village. If you do go there, speak with the editor. I'm sure she could help you out in some way. Okay, there's a news organization in Rito Village? Are you telling me we are going to see Big News Morgans from One Piece in Tears of the Kingdom? If there is an equivalent of Big News Morgans, this game went from a 10 out of 10 to an 11 out of 10. Please tell me that Big News has something to tell us in Rito Village. I'll be here. Okay. I'll also be looking into the different villages to see what happened to the princess. All right. Yeah. I'm counting on you to check out the major phenomenon that are troubling the regions around Hyrule Link. 
We'll find Princess Zelda one way or another. All right. I gotta find goggles. All right, so we got a side quest over here. Really, the whole world has kind of opened up to us now. We have the different gates. We can zoom back over here, figure out other things to do. We got Hyrule Castle in the background. I think this right here is probably the perfect place to stop for the day. Because I feel like now the map has kind of opened up. I could do some shrines on my own and just explore on my own. And then we could do more of the story stuff on stream on Twitch. But I think this is like the perfect place to stop. Because then people can catch up on their own. People who maybe are still at work right now. Who haven't gotten the chance to play through some of the game. They can go through the open tutorial and then catch up with the VOD. I think this is like the perfect place to stop. And again, one of my, one of my headphones just died. So I think the game is even telling me, look Roger, you played for four and a half hours. That's plenty of time. But I think this is great. So I'm going to save at the very least right here. Save your progress. Progress saved. So I don't mess up anything. And then we are going to continue tomorrow on twitch.tv slash rogersbase. Now, I have not yet figured out how I want to splice all this stuff together. Whether I'm just going to upload the full VODs to the YouTube channel or if I'm going to do highlights. I think I might do highlights for main portions of the game. I'll definitely do a stream on YouTube again for the ending and for other major moments. Um... But I, I am going to be uploading a lot of content for Tears of the Kingdom. I just haven't quite figured out what that's going to be. Whether it's going to be shorts or highlight videos of certain quests. Um, what have you. This game is huge. So I could do any number of things for the game. So really, I just ask you guys, what do you want? Let me know in the comment section what kind of Zelda videos do you want. Because I'm obviously going to be happy just exploring on my own. And seeing the shrines and doing other things. But if there's certain highlights that you guys want as videos. Or certain things that you want me to explore then, you know, I could splice that stuff up. But uh, Gabe is saying highlights are always more digestible. I figured more people would like highlights. I, I'll probably end up doing kind of what I did for Xenoblade 3, right? Which doing streams on Twitch and then the highlights on YouTube. Um, but again, like, there's so much to go over in the game right now. I feel like probably the four major areas in terms of story will make for good highlights. But there's so much to explore and so many other things that I feel like I might even make other content for the shrines and for other areas to explore and maybe either fun side quests. I just, I love this game. I absolutely love it. I had such a fun time on stream today. Thank you once again. What is Link doing right now? Is he looking at his hand? What was that? All right, either way, thank you everybody for tuning into the stream. Greatly appreciate it. Make sure to leave a like. If you've been watching this whole stream and you aren't subscribed to my YouTube channel, go subscribe to the YouTube channel because there will be more Tears of the Kingdom. Then, of course, I'm going to be doing my stream on Twitch tomorrow. And then on Sunday, right here on YouTube, we're going to do another One Piece stream. So lots of great stuff coming up in the near future for Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you all so much for joining me. Like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later.